know you. Can. All right, we'll help you. Thank you. As long as we're a team effort here, I'm all set. All right, I guess I'd like to call the meeting to order at uh, 6.04. Uh, is there any adjustments to the agenda? I make a motion we accept the agenda. So moved. Okay. Uh, do we have to? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> public comment. <laughs> is there any public comment? There's no okay. public. <laughs> Um, well, you are. Consent, okay. consent agenda, I act to approve October 29th meeting minutes. I actually did not have time to go back and um, adjust those minutes so at all. So hang on we to need that. to table that one again. Okay. Um, sorry. It's, it's okay. Just, we'll defer that. Okay. Um, but we can look at um, approving the uh, Tuesday, November 12th meeting minutes. Okay. We'll print them off. Okay. I'm sorry. That's not them there? No, this was my pile from oh. all our meetings. Can we just table those for right now? I didn't look at them. I'm so sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you sent an email to you. You said you had looked at them. I, I thought it was the um the list to fill in. It was connected to that. How that worked. You know what? Yeah. It, was it connected to the list? The um, no. options? No. No. It was, it was okay. <laughs> Look at it this way. It'll be done for next time. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So I described in Table. detail how we needed to describe in detail. Uh, okay. No, 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 setting, no, 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 Okay, so moving to um, discussion items, review uh, completed worksheets. So uh, Carl was going to, did anybody send stuff to Carl to? I did. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And he sent, I believe it's attached. If you have his email, he sent. I do. If not, I'd have to go to my phone. But oh boy. I did not get an email from him. I didn't either. It came at 522. I just saw right. it. Oh, so right. someone did oh, it. You, I believe he had an attachment on there. But it I'm did. Not, well, uh, I, but I think it had to do with the two that, the two people that did send. Okay, uh, so he's got. Yep. Hey, does the school have Wi-Fi? Yes, it's yes. the public. I'm, I'm connecting right now. It should. Uh, 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 just the SCS public. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. So, so it's just sort of like the, the notes that went with it. Okay. Uh, so it, it will be a little tough, though, um, but it will give us a starting point. Um, Can you print those for me or not? Get them here. I looked at them, but they're again on my phone, right. and it's hard to read them. Too. Um, um, I don't know how I could print from my computer. Just Stockbridge, okay. of course, SCS Public. Go to the SCS Public. I always get the. Who's Wendy's on. working on it? Okay. Um, I can go get my computer out of the car and print get what we said. Get the keys and go get it. Okay. It's on my desk. Sit in your leather bag. Yes. But I think oh, um, I, I, this is my own that I filled in. I didn't send uh, my stuff to him, okay. so but I. But I was trying to right. look to. So were these from Cricket? Or are they from? Carl's and is it both, I believe. Right. He connected. Well, we can print it all out and look at it in a big. Are there some notes that go with this? I think in the body of the email, Joanne, but I didn't oh, really okay. read it okay. very closely. So See, look at he, me. he gave some stuff that we should okay. put in the meeting minutes. He okay, gave right. Us, he gave us some rates <laughs> on, on some best gas things. stuff. Right. Such as if we tuition kids out, he gave us a park on Okay. Uh, okay, here we go. So, well, there's crickets in the. Um, I have crickets in my email. A a um, filled out one with all her notes on it. Okay. Well, I um, guess we should put that one out too, then. Yeah. I'm trying to see. I, I'll wait till my computer comes back in because doing this on the phone is like. Okay. Reaffirming that I need to go get my eyes checked again. Mm -hmm. I can't read it all. But, um, yeah. I'm reading Carl's. Yeah. Should I read it out loud? Is yeah, it? good luck. Oh, <laughs> I, I, I haven't read it. It's complicated. Well, I mean, I don't, uh, he, he talked about several different things. Yeah, in it, okay. But, so yeah. Go ahead. As we get to that yep. subject, yep. and then you can, can decipher it. <laughs> the legal ease of a board member. The legal ease. Okay. Well, all right. Uh, I've attached my version of Wendy's spreadsheet so it can be compared with others. I've seen Cricket's and Rob's versions. Thanks. 
I wasn't able to come up with any good method for splitting out into two districts again, so I left those choices empty. So that would be the bottom two choices of how to <laughs> on the chart. Um, as far as going forward, I think we need to get a better idea of where our student population figures are, trend fig figures are trending. We need to get a better pulse from our communities on where we are generally parked on these options so we can narrow some things down. So um, from that th two sentences, it doesn't sound to me that he combined his crickets and, and I don't know. It doesn't think look like anything's been matched, okay. but give me a second to print. Um, How much should be done as the group? Yeah, Hopefully. I was kind of thinking though if we came together and, and did it, and it looks to me like he um, he uh, put new headings. <laughs> oh no! Yes, yes. He put SCS, RES, and RHS um, instead of short of of uh, costs, short term and long term <laughs> costs. How did everybody else fare with with? doing that short term because I was not able to do that either so that the short term cost long term cost bondability no, and flexibility I don't uh, you know there's just so much information that's missing in yeah. this uh, you know what I thought and I guess cricket thought too is that it was made more sense to just use the minimums of yeah. the thing. That gives you a pretty good picture, just of, of the picture. But it's so complicated, there's so many. The other thing that I think is overarching is that this is much larger, to me, a, a political conversation between the two towns and what the people want than whether or not we have, uh, what kind of uh, drinking fountains we have. Oh, I agree, but I think, you know? I'd be really nice if we could, I think we're trying to get some numbers out there of using just the, what's in the book, really. Um, so like if we took option one, which is, le I mean, does which everybody have their of, spreadsheet? Of we can just, what? Charles? From your own. From my own. Yeah. But aren't we all gonna have different figures for it? Well, I, I, the problem, but we're trying to come I up don't, with I'm something. Trying close. to figure out. Let, let's just start with yeah. option one, and let's just kind of talk yeah. about it, looking at our, our all of our own spreadsheets, and just see if we get anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> um, which is the leave as e as is, maintain all three buildings, fixed priority items. Right. So. Um, can I just say one thing? Oh, yeah, yeah, please, please do. Help. Maybe what might help us is to combine Amy's idea with Rob's idea, which is basically take those options that we generated, mm -hmm. you know, remain as is, use all three, whatever they are, take the minimums for those three, whatever those options are, and just look at that picture. Because I think what we keep doing is we start down a road and then we right. kind of take a left or we take right. a right. So if we were to look at the options, however we define those options, and just use the reports minimums for those options, and then just step back and say, okay, does this help us or doesn't it? Does that make any sense? It, it does. I would like to dive in, though, a little bit more, because um, Stockbridge Central School, um, option one, leave as is, fix the minimums, comes up to... Um, uh, it's $161,488. Okay. In it is $45,000 a project manager. Now, <laughs> I'm questioning what we need a project manager for, um, and if for those that, repairs. That, that size, you would end up either somebody in town that had knowledge might volunteer to do that. that that's a relative right. amount based on percentage of cost, though. So they have okay. to put something in there right. so that if you hire a company right. to do it, they're going to charge you Just overhead cost to oversee that project from everything from building to... And, from building and, to right. and on smaller uh, projects, uh, don't they, uh, can't I we do a clerk of works? And sometimes that's a local uh, contractor, a local right. craftsman, a local... We, we've done it before. Yeah. Um, just because but when it I... it depends on the scope of the work. Right, depending right. on the scope of the yeah. work. Exactly. You have to have people that are knowledgeable at least to see... You're getting what you're doing. Exactly. If you need a plumber, you get a plumber. You don't... Right. So, um, I, I, in my section, I had taken out the asbestos testing because I had thought we had already covered that Basically, that twenty thousand yeah. dollars. I think we're pretty good okay. at that. Yeah. So, from for that for SC, for Stockbridge Central School, doing the minimum, um, I came up with it says one hundred and sixty one, but you take out the project manager, the asbestos, and the soft costs because still, what are the soft costs? 
same type of stuff for bigger projects, you definitely need them in there. But for something mm -hmm. that is just moving the bus, plug, the I think you're more important. You want to pull together all the pieces that are not SOCOM, see what that is, okay. and then talk about them based on what your need would be for right. them. Okay. Well, I Which can, is pretty easy to do once you know, you know, like replacing the furnace is, is one for example, and then is it important that we pull up the red tile and redo the floor, you know, and add the, so line up the items that we think in this issue or that we would put in that pile. I see. Then mm -hmm. go from there. I, so, because you need I, to. I think we're going to go crazy because uh, if we try to go down and, and just, we're going to go crazy. I, well, let me suggest that we look at these 10 options. Some of them are just politically untenable anyway. They're never going to happen. And we could, we, I, I'd suggest we could probably sit down and kind of wipe some of those things and, and get the yeah. thing down. This is Carl's uh, spreadsheet. Well, I guess the reason I bring this up is because when I did number one, the I got the what I saw for um, what would cost for Stockbridge Central School would only be sixty eight thousand dollars, not but, but, hundred and one thousand, which makes a big difference when you're looking at yeah. what the overall. But they're not real numbers. They're just a thumbnail that this engineering group put together the best they could in a short amount of time. But they're pretty right, accurate. They, they, right. they, 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 they do do this all the time. They base it on uh, stuff that, of their experience and their knowledge. Yes, they're a ballpark, but even until you actually build the project, you're not going to have the exact cost anyway. I don't, I'm not talking about that. There's such a swing. I mean, I won't beat this to death, but swing. There, I mean, there's such a great variance. Are you talking about the like me in the, in the items on here? In the report, okay. You know, do you put a roof on or not? That's a big question. Yeah. Well, are you going to? How long are you going to use that building? What's the school population? Blah blah blah. Yeah, you start thinking that. about that kind of stuff, and you change the entire. So so. Uh, but what really stuck out to me is that the two big things: Rochester buys the school, and you do the demerge. Those are those are outside of our control anyway. You know, there are possibilities. But, but there's so, that's a whole other department of things out of our control. What do the voters think? What does the state think? Well, what do we want, you know? Wouldn't you agree that maybe any or all of these are out of our control? Yeah, let's start the end. running go. Well, right. I mean, to, we, to we get. We have to do something. Either the list is too long or, or we now want to whittle it down, which is a change of that. But you shouldn't whittle it down based on cost, is my point. You can use, no, use a general cost. Right. General, so, yeah. So if you, you know, look at yeah. Carl's, then he took the costs, um, including the, the extra project managers, um, for the SES, RES, and RHS, and it was two hundred fifty nine thousand dollars is what he put in there. Um, I just don't know why we would have a number if. Someone who has experience thinks it should be less. I don't know why. Well, the, all he did was he just tallied all the numbers. I based all the on that. Yes. Yeah, right. he and, 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 that's, and that's fine too. But right. can we agree that we know that's high? Uh, well, I, I so going back to, to what I did was I and I just simply put in, you know I could tell you what I what we yeah, put in. Put all in. I took out was the asbestos, the project the manager, and the soft costs. Just leave as is. If you leave as is, yeah. talking option one, yeah. there are things that you're going to do regardless of whether you it's know. The priority if, items. If, if option one is there. There are items that need to be done, and I agree that I think if if you're just going to leave stuff alone for a couple of years and just do what you need to do, there's fifty or sixty thousand dollars that over the next few years you've got a couple of years that you would have to spend even to maintain where you are right now. So in the original spreadsheet, we did like short-term cost and long-term cost. Yep. So would you say so, the short-term cost well, is like fifty to sixty thousand per year? I would call them short-term, but I would call them short term because we don't know in four years what will happen. We, right. We right. don't know what, and, it, and any of the big dollar options, that's exactly what people are at. Well, if enrollment's going down, I mean, we're getting into that policy right. side of stuff. But if we simply take option one, leave as is, for Stockbridge, uh -huh. I think just to keep you at a par, I'm not talking about doing the bathrooms over or any right. of that, just right. to survive, 
based on your speed <laughs> load, I, I came up with somewhere around $50,000, 50 to 60. Yeah, if and you take out, I, right. yeah, I came up with um, 68, but that's because I had the um, the and ADA bathroom compliance in there. Do yeah, we have to do that? You match with that, and then you're into it with all of them. So you got to yeah. be careful there. So I, I didn't quite add that, but it could be. Right, uh, so I did leave those in for yep. all of them, just yep. um, to all the, because I wasn't sure about that ADA, but I have it noted here, do we really need to do that? So, but I, if we came up, if you come up with what you need for Stockbridge Central School to, to, to be as is and do the, for, to fix the priorities, you can apply that number moving down to number two, to number three, to number four. Oh, oh wait a second, I did a 2A, sorry. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Uh, um, right. So we need to agree with these top numbers. So it's a, kind of the same going down for number two on, um, you know, maintain um, RES and fix the priority items. The number that we come up with for number one is the same number for yeah. RES that we can use for number two. And then we need to, to add a number for, for um, the, the high school if there be any. Right. That's where I looked at it. Yeah, and, and and I think that the little bit of caution we have to have is that there's, so I think the ADA bathrooms are a good example. Okay. We're already getting some push on that, that we don't have what we need to accommodate some people's needs. So I don't know that we can take those out and of any fine. of our options. Yeah, that sounds right. okay. But you don't, you, there again, you could you could put another percentage of money in there right. to, to spread to say we don't know this. Right. But, but until you dig into that and what you have to do, nobody in this room, me included, could tell you what that costs exactly. based on the fact that once you start doing something in certain bathrooms, you have to go, you know, they won't right care there. that you have to do this. Right. To go That's fully true. to ADA may be two different Thanks. So what's what's our mission in, in trying to get the what's our mission? What, what do we want to get out of? Well, I thought we wanted to put to put price tags on all of these options so that we could really see um, for a presentation. So what I'm telling you is you can't do that. I would say you can't do it with great you can't, you can't do it. We wouldn't want to be held accountable yeah. with no, the taxpayers. But could we, <laughs> could we you take could the numbers that we find and rank them then? So that we don't give it's gonna cost three million, it's gonna cost four hundred thousand. We just say this is the lowest, this is the middle, and this is the highest. So I think that, that be helpful. I think not? that might be helpful. Let me ask this if we could combine a couple ideas. And again, I'm making some assumptions. I'm making some assumptions that right now option one and option two are the most viable options. I, this is just me. You, I have an option 2A. Okay. I, hold, I, just hold, I emailed everybody that really goes along very similar with the option okay. 2. It's just flipped. Just listen to the big idea and see if that helps. So let's say we have 1, 2, and, and 2A, as Amy said. You, excuse me. Are you working for, for I'm working Carl's? for the Carl Sheet. Okay. Just, just, I'm, not, I'm not looking just at the you can read it. Yeah, I'm not, <laughs> looking at the, I'm not looking at the numbers. Okay. All I'm looking at is the two options. Part of what we're struggling with is the volume of information that we have and the volume of unknowns that we have. So again, this is my, my assumption and tell me if it works. What if we delved in, based on these ideas we've talked about, to option one, two, and two A? And for now, we didn't look at three through 10 because they don't seem very viable. I don't think we're gonna close the school in either community in the next couple of years. I don't think we're gonna build a new school. Um, I don't know. We could probably could take eight out. Can we all agree that that's probably not going to be? I mean, we could throw a number out. That. I think that's given. I, right? I think we're not going to be a school. And being well, the new unified pre-K through six RSUD. Unless you join with some other school. Right. I don't think that we. I think that's not acceptable. Don't we? Do we all? Yeah. Agree with that? really. Uh, it's a lot of money, and we don't know how many kids we're going to have in five years. Yeah. I mean, so I'm let's happily. just. Are we okay with that? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. I could take that out. I think that's just being irresponsible. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And the only thing I was suggesting, Joanne, is as a step one, could we take all these ideas that people have expressed and just apply them to one, two, and two air right now? Sure. Just work our way through that way. Okay. okay. If I, we could get it done on those three, that would be a chunk. I, I think right. also if we're going to do that and only take those items, it, it is important that we now 
based on what Carl's figured out or, or what should be looked at, it's important to let Stockbridge and Rochester people know what it would cost them based simply on today's rates For seven. if they had sure. the tuition. Exactly. Okay, Carl did some research on that, so how viable that, that is, but it's it's information that we could get better yeah. at and also talk about the number of kids and give, say, this is approximately what this one is, and leaving that in there. With Not Rachel, saying that anybody seven. wants it. Okay, just I, saying dis that I people disagree are with ask. Carl's numbers. Uh, what was Carl's numbers? Number seven. I disagree. Seven. Uh, okay, but you want to hold on to the numbers? Well, he brought it up. That's why I said I'm not talking talk about, about numbers. Yeah, but I'm, I'm not talking about leaving it on the list. That's right? what yes, I'm saying. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So then yes. we would look at one, two, two A and. Uh, any shares that were this and seven. I, I, will, I need two A. I'm one, two, two A and seven. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know these two. There's been a teaser. Now everybody knows. Oh, no. to know. Oh, does that make any sense to look at those four? Yeah, yeah I think it, I think it really does. Okay. And do everything that we've talked about. But putting I, in, putting out, we, blah, 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 but not with those doing four. the other ones? Well, for now, if we could just start with those four. Just a starting point and then working our way down. But that's, you mean just take arbitrary first three? No, it's I mean, not. It seems to me that we should do what Joanne is suggesting, which is kind of go through and say, is this, is this tenable or Were not? Are there any right. other ones that seem to be easily? Yeah. Well, looking at moving all the kids to Stockbridge School, um, we are talking about additions. So does that's that not going to happen? That's not going to happen. Won't happen. So are we now kind of back to that? This you, you don't have land enough. The stipulations they put on you to do that. Then you probably can be enough. It would never work anyway. You'd have to reach the really access to 100. You'd, you'd be a whole lot. So, so right, I guess Hollis's point is what I'm trying to say. I think there's some. Th oh, I'm sorry, Willis. So there's some things on here that just don't seem, at this point in time, to be viable options. And I think we're getting tripped up with that. I think that there's too many. I think we should go through and kind of do a slash and burn and remove those things, which just don't seem very tenable. Mm -hmm. And that'll give us what three or four, I guess. Yeah. And then and then figure out what's the best pre what's the best presentational thing we can do regarding numbers. To me, just the using the lowest step figures because they're going to be constant, and then adding them all together that shows you w what ranks in terms of cost. Without worrying about, you know, what are you going to do about the asbestos? What are you going to do about that? Right. But but really, the other thing is, where are we going with this? What do we want to have when we're done? We are want. We, gonna, we want to have three options for Carl. Smeltable and give the children the best education they can have. We, period. We want to have, as I see it, we want to have an understanding about this report that clearly identifies. Here are some options that the communities of Rochester and Stockbridge have. We have to make a decision about how many buildings we're going to operate and where we're going to operate them as we as we roll forward, uh, from maintaining the three we have to doing something different. So I think what we want is a clearly laid out document that says here are one, two, three, four, however many we pick, viable three options. Three disagree, here they are. Viable options. Yeah. Here's our best guess at what those viable options could cost. Without doing a whole lot not. more, actually. Without doing out. a whole lot more. And so the only thing I see. And these are cost estimates. Based on the one. Right. I mean, no one can hold you to those numbers. And I think that's it's a just a matter of ranking of, of what we think a range is of right. these options. And if we put those four out, and let's say two of them have tremendous community support, that's where we would be recommending we spend some money to say, okay, let's fine tune these right. two right. options. This, this, this committee reconvenes based on those findings. Based on and, feedback and, from and, the community. And digs right. into those okay, so we're going to replace the boiler. Now we've got the tiles that are under the boiler. It, it, it depends on which one's picked. Next. And then we make, then we go more in depth in that whether that's needing to hire more for survey or just whatever it is. people or whatever. But so I like Joanne's statement. I don't know if everyone heard it about the, can you say it again? Do you remember? Financially, um, be fin financially, financially responsible, responsible and give the kids the best education. Right, right. and yeah. that helps. Right. No, so I wouldn't agree with that. You don't? No. I mean, I, <laughs> you don't agree with No, that. I wouldn't agree with that. Here's why. It, it, <laughs> when, when the whole merger thing first came up, everyone always talked about it's about the kids. It's about the kids. It has to be about the kids. It's not about the kids. It's about the communities who are paying for it, the communities that have to vote on it. It's a political thing. Of course we want to have the kids have the best. Of course we do. But within well, a larger reason they mandated it was financial. You know, exactly. Yeah. They thought it was going to be cheaper to do this. Yeah. 
Yeah, we now know it's not. We were forced to do it. We did it. Now we've got to figure right. out the best way we can live. I mean, I could argue probably that you could you could have the very best situation for the kids, and the towns wouldn't vote on would, would turn it down. So there's no point in having something that the towns aren't going to vote for. That's my point. We've seen that a number of times. Yeah. So I'm going to suggest. I'm going to suggest. I don't know who said it, but I'm going to suggest that we. This is my thought. People weigh in on it. That we take number four out because I don't think we're going to be building an addition. Well, let's go right down to them again. So we're going to take one, two. We need to hear two. Well. Yes. <laughs> we can't even go. Yeah. Yeah. I want two I now. cannot go far. Right, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. I mean, what's two way? Because we can't seem to get out. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm not. Like, you hyped it up it. so much now. I just was I'm like, it as you say. Okay. Um, Wish I had a red pen. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to do it. Okay. To keep S. Sackard Central School open to move Rochester Elementary to the high school building for the town to purchase the elementary school and the rent back the kitchen and the gym to the elementary school. Which number is that to? Which is basically the same know. thing as the it's high not school. Not putting in a new kitchen, not putting in a new gym, not right. putting, it's like just. We're using the, the facilities way. over in the elementary building. And then right. Right. Just back. Just that bad. Keeping just the Rochester elementary kids there. And that's better than using the other one and then renting the. It's another uh, option. I have There's exciting information too. Oh, cool. Is it going to help us? It splits well, it off a lot easier there. I was really negative about the whole idea about uh, uh, Rochester taking the school back, but I spent time with the uh, select board and the. And the, and the budget committee, and they were pretty interested in it. So I think that's a much more viable well, there, option. There's for one or the other? There's or also no, they, they are interested in um, in the high school. High school. And, 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 that, and I would have agreed with you that that based on meeting spaces, based on maybe town meeting, yeah, with everything, meeting yeah. seems to be the high school would be what they go after. So yeah. I don't think that has to do with our thinking because a little twist on Amy's thought is would, and I don't know how we want to do this, but a little twist would be that we would keep Rochester Elementary School where it is and leave space for art and music back. Oh, We're just I know. I'm like, we need to talk about that too. No, I'm just saying that's my idea. Well, that's, 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 that's what number two is. Right. That's right. what but number that's, two is. And I don't get right. so that's, rent stuff. Like, can't you do yeah. it? Well, yeah, yeah. well, there's share responsibility. Eight, yeah. for, I don't know how. Eight, I think eight, 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 eight and then eight. four, and then we started to go back. Um, to okay. <laughs> All right. Remember, we're not picking. We're just trying to put yeah. out there. No, what I know, makes I know, but sense. I want to make sure that we discuss that as we gotcha. go. Okay. Enough. I didn't hear. We were over well, here we're writing. This Sorry. No, that's okay. <laughs> no, four and eight have been eliminated. Is that what I understand? We got two A. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And move all um, okay. Rochester students to Stockbridge. So four. that's four is gone. Four is gone. We're, we're not going to be doing any building. Due to the fact that we would need to build uh, extensive additions to house 134 kids. Well, um, the current. Are you talking about under number four? Under the, the, yeah, I was just going to say under number half as many teachers, we right. would have half as many. Space. Space wise. Right, I know. But you could build a spot, you, didn't, you wouldn't necessarily have all the tuition students. So there's a lot of things that would change in that. Right. Uh, so uh, when you've got to think about that, you might move. Oh, wow. Well, well not just revenue, but right just here. you wouldn't have the need right. for right. double right. teachers. Right. It would go well, to the physical, like, I um, understand, okay. but you're so cutting your expenses by a lot. Expenses, correct. Right. Um, I'm just saying that the um, your Stockbridge Central changed. School, the proposed space that the need is um, 230 square feet per kid. And it says that. This it, report. It's in there. It's, oh. it, there's a standard. So, okay, let, let me go back okay. to what they currently okay. have. So, so Stockbridge Central School, the, the kids already. currently have 181 yeah. square feet per kit. That's what you put. No, 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 no new addition, no nothing. And that's purely math. The size of the building divided by the number of kids. So, remember that when we talk about Stockbridge or Rochester Elementary School about square footage? We know that this is important. No, it is important. We will. And times in that by the 100. 34 students, but but now I didn't take into account that we could be losing um, something right. I call congressional right. students. Right. But I just was trying to go with currently what we had, yeah. so that would be 24,254 uh, square feet that we would need in in Stockbridge. We would need how much? 24,254. Based on what the real based on just like the numbers we currently have right now, and based on the square footage that each that they student has, 
right now. And again, that's just math. That's right. Multiply so, one by so one. So I'm just right saying now, we are seeing that, yeah, we would immediately need to, to see right. that. Was the house right now in Rochester or has right now in Stockbridge? Because those are two. Or was there a recommendation that I missed that, that should be that? Bridge, that was, I, I, compl I only referenced the current space in Stockbridge and the square footage per student currently today in Stockbridge. Okay, and that was my that, question. Yeah, and times <coughs> it by the Thanks. total number Sorry. of students that we had in the um, district. And right. do we, uh, when we're including um, pre-K as, yes. as full-time students? They are space, yes. Okay. They, yeah. need, they need the they space. Even though they're not here yeah. full-time. Right. They are here. Yeah, yeah. The only yeah. thing you so can do is you want to get it double up. They have a morning and an afternoon. That's right, the only right, thing you can right. do. So really, going through that little exercise just um, showed that that option does would include a substantial addition okay. to Stockbridge. Okay. So if if we uh, does that agree? Okay, okay. that's fine. We're now. crossing okay. it out. Okay. Let's just reference the yeah. number again. What number? Four. 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 That, okay. So good four and eight have, have about four and eight have been done. Okay. Well, let's get rid of some more so we have less to. I, I'm going to make a suggestion. I think we, Rob, I think we could get rid of five because here's my assumption. In order to move all the Stockbridge students to Rochester Elementary School, parents and communities are going to have to tolerate much larger class sizes. Somewhat larger class sizes, I think, will fly. Much larger class sizes. Do you have how many kids right now? Forty-four. Four. Um, I don't think. Well, let's just close Stockbridge Elementary. I don't think that's an option. There. Yeah, that's. I'm happy with that. <laughs> I don't think they're gonna. I think closing Stockbridge is probably a political non-starter. Not right now. And, and I don't. And so even if it were a political starter, mm -hmm. I don't think they would all fit in the Rochester Elementary School. Well, we'd have to do square footage. Number you'd have to do right. And I think it's so starters, but I'm not sure. It's and quite honestly, I don't think the list I did in Rochester Elementary is pretty extensive. It is. So, so the, can you um, take five out? Yep. Five is so, five. right, okay. Hey, we're getting down there, guys. So do we take yeah, six out, too? All we had to do is pass it along. Same thing. So we should take six out. Move all. Well, for a different reason, we would take six out. all unified students to R to Rochester. Rochester High School. So they would fit. RSUD students to RHS. But I think closing Rochester, I think closing Stockbridge School, as to use your words, is a non-starter. So I think that so one can come out. But were we going to just give these numbers to more of, like, I think shock that, value, too? I think we got a little bit ahead of ourselves. Okay. I think we started thinking vision and we started getting into the long term thing and it's just eight when yes. we're all here of us sitting here talking and we really when we start we do need to have a community discussion and I say community in the whole term of Rochester and Stockbridge about what is valuable and what is our vision in the long term. I think originally the value of this report was supposed to be that we can't keep doing what we're still doing and be financially responsible. I mean, we don't have the numbers to support it. It's, we're not using space. But we do have, we do have the, the wherewithal to make this less, to do it the way we're doing it. Right. But also qualify to the, to the board that we're presenting to mm -hmm. and say, look, for long term though, Here's what it could has to be a conversation and find out what the communities, That's what the key. forecast right. of students and and in in long term exactly. is. So we're not we crossed them off for right now. But right, so better I have that it. as part of the right. conversation. Right, or down the road. Once you kick that can a couple mm -hmm. more times, yeah, they'll all be in trouble. Yeah. Yeah. And again, yeah. this state yeah. may mandate something different by that right. too. And the reality is, what one of the things we're lacking clearly is current community input. We, we've got, so we our job sampling right. here, but not is to get out something that is accurate, that makes sense. But that if you make that statement long term, that will get people thinking about it without us being exactly. committed to exactly. any dollar value or anything right. else in it. Right. it. And then we can pursue it. Because that's detail. not our job when it comes right down That's not our job, right. And then, uh, yeah. It's just to take what's common sense, consider short term, long term, I think uh -huh. makes sense. But the short term ones are the ones that we got to prioritize in the end and what's the best that option for a rank in an order. Exactly. Okay. So with that said, are we tabling six for right now? 
I guess so. I I really see, the only number I was able to come up with for <laughs> like, oh, six? I'm sorry. Yeah. Six is gone. I got, nope. sorry, got I thought we were talking about seven. Close, no, fine. Uh, yep. uh, yeah. Okay. Seven, I think, clearly stays, and I think they should be doing research on that. The only thing I did was took um, the 15,500 well, 15, and times it by the 134 students. Again, that's not right, though, because not all of them are, are, are they, you have to do it by residence. I need to do it by <coughs> residence. Right. right. In Carl's email. But that's per year, you have to remember, too. He stated based on the best data he had. That doesn't include but, it. And that's all, it's that's all, all you Right. But he said it looked like right now, based on where we are right now and the number of students, it'd be about a penny but, more. Okay, so we need to do. But, wait a minute. Mind he says, he, he, he's the only one that's looked into any data, though, so we got to start something. I asked the SU. We need that's 96 fine. is what we need right to do. But right now, I'm just saying, when right. we leave this option on here, then we pull together the most accurate number, that's right. qualify what those numbers are. But it looks to me that it's within reach. To, to have that So at this point, it's still a viable possibility. It is. I don't, I don't think it's a political liability. Yeah. I think, it's I think Rochester won't close their school any more than Stockbridge. But there again, but they, right, but it but still it's has to option. be an option on here. Well, that's, I mean, there's a question. We could. There were ten options on here, which well, you could well, argue all of them. But you can't have a million options. You've got to get down to the point where we have a containable, understandable, reasonable group that you can give either the, the board they, or the public. They can take off the fact that, they, that neither town wants to close their right. school pretty quickly. But, it, but we would be insane on the financial side of things not to say that that may be a viable option if money What were your notice for that? Well, the problem is when I asked, um, and, and Lindy will agree, when I asked the SU, um, she gave me the number of high school students that they've paid tuition on already, not the total tuition students. Not the total number. Total can't number. You, can't you so just multiply the students times 50? It's a range. But we don't take, have the number. We don't. Well, aren't you have, like, close to the number? Well, well so it's, it's a range. range. Some so schools are the average. Some schools are like, 17,000. Okay, so I did an yeah. average. In 51 Rochester K through 6, I mean, yeah, which was done. It's actually 96. Oh, no. You have to no, take no, no, out some okay. tuition kids in, right? Right. And I took the number from Tara's numbers, 51. I counted them. And this was last year's numbers. Okay. 15000 because that was last year's tuition. And it's $765,000 for Rochester's elementary. elementary. Stockbridge, it, according to her notes, was th were 36 kids. These are K through 6, not pre-K. Right. It's a different cost for right. pre-K. Right. And it's not, it's not mandatory. Right. It's okay. not mandatory. So, okay. So it's... You get access to 10 free hours. Right. Okay, so 15 yeah, times 15K is $540,000. And then she said there's 29 Rochester high school students. So I used 18,000, which is a high average for high school, very high average. So that was five. What? For now. Right, yeah. right. Well, it's actually, I took it from this year's um, numbers that were on the website. Mm -hmm. So 522,000 for Rochester's high school. But she only gave us 11 for Stockbridge High School because that's the only ones they had verified. So that's the problem with my numbers on this is that I don't know how many high school students there are in Stockbridge. Well, yes. Is there like 11? Is that pretty no. well? It's going to be more than that. Okay, okay. Yeah. so yeah. someone yeah. said it was 39. Jesus. It's 11 that just left the building last right. year. And our so, but she said 7 through 12 students is 39, 39, but then she wrote the Stockbridge numbers out, and that added 11. But I think 39, we did have more high school kids. Yes. So this then, is a number that we do need to find, but we need it, it needs a lot more. Right, so if it's 39, so if it's 39, so 39 times 18,000 is 702,000. Okay, so all of that said, it's seven, clear it, 765 plus 540 plus 522 plus um, 702 is 2,529,000. 
for all the kids. Then you have to add in the SU assessment, and no one could give right. you that number. Did you find that? No, number? I didn't. But what the. We're but, talking. The, we have to be careful when we're talking about, um, you know, like budget versus buildings, and we're talking about budget for a yeah. building. Yeah. And and I think you well, don't have just buildings came, anymore. Correct. I think the number you just came up with is a perfect substitute to compare to the right. cost of the building. There's a lot of other right. costs that would the of budget would I not know. be that. We would have it would be different. It's just comparing to like what right. the cost of the building is, the repairs and versus. But again, we wouldn't have the buildings anymore. Right. You still have your debt. But, and that's what I'm saying. Right. This is, I think, is a well, good, good, good number. Unless you no, have I mean, we sell this back there. to the towns for a buck, whatever. Well, if the town will buy it. Right. Right. I'm right. saying Our that, that what number, sure. the number she came up with is, is a good number that we could put in on this right. chart. But it is not the budget of our SU by any means. It's a little bit. It's, our, it's, it's, it's apples right. and oranges yeah. in a way. Because well, not really. Cost, well, well, a little bit, Julia, because there's costs that are going to have to be added right. to that. You have but your board expense. You have your board expense, which not is minor. That's just I mean, straight you guys are all volunteers. <laughs> yeah, but we'd still have to hire them to do stuff to for do us. what you still have to hire them to pay your bills to I already financial said that driving. in the SU I no said I was that. just talking to yeah. Willis because he said we yeah, could yeah. bring and the supervisor and that's why I'm trying to say that. that this is not the budget there's a no, lot no, more in the that. budget it's just right. if we're trying those to are in the budget yeah and session the building so, so getting back budget. getting back yes, to reality is it an option staying on the list yeah. Well, it is. It is to me, but you have to add all this other stuff into it. No, well, well, if we need research, if, right. we, if you're going to right now, we're, we're, we're going to be doing the last. Let's say you rebuild buildings for two million dollars. You still have to all the costs of running the. So it isn't a three. My only point was that number should so stay on the list. Yes. So I'm in, I think we're in agreement on that. I'm sort of thinking I'm going to be the odd man out here, but here's why I don't necessarily see that as viable. If you look around at the closest elementary schools, so if we offer choice to everybody, the closest elementary schools are what? Killington, Bethel. Not that much further mm -hmm. for us. I mean, no, so the, only thing, saying, the thing is, is everyone that lives again, in Stockbridge works out of town, or a lot of people right. that don't live here. Right. But so, and probably not north. No, definitely, mm, probably it's, not north. It's east west. Right. So the only the only issue is we're we're um, how do I say this? I'm I'm not trying to mix this idea. Just want to be realistic no, about it's it. Fine. We're having we've had a number of calls, and maybe it is more Rochester than Stockbridge, about the um, time that kids have to leave. Kids who have made choice that some of them go to South Wellington, some of them go to go to Bethel, some of them go. They're meeting buses in the Rochester parking lot at 6:30 in the morning. So we're talking about elementary populations on buses really early. I'm not saying that takes it off the list. I'm just saying th I There's think that's to important it. to consider but when we're talking about years choice. from now when your student quant number is reduced so much that that they're they not getting the it. same education that yep. they are if we send you know you send kids to right. whatever the high schools are up in Waitsfield or whatever that, you know or, or some of you know some of those and I don't know how far those are but, but that's a viable way that I've seen people from October. Yeah, the only point I was trying to make is that with choice, there's something other than cost that has to be considered for, right, for that's elementary. That's not job product. here. Right. No, but, no, it, it, it is, but, but it is a job if, to make. If the, um, if the Stockbridge kids, they're not going, they don't want to go north. They're, the people going to, to their jobs in Rutland or Bethel, whatever, they, they're going to go in that direction. That's a factor. That's a real factor. And the people in Rochester, they probably are living and working around in Rochester, and they're probably not going to be sending their kids to Middlebury or something right. unless they're in high school. So, I mean, to me, that and the, and the fact that it's an apples and oranges financial consideration uh, makes me think you should just take this off the table because we've got to cut this down to less. No. You I disagree. Cut it down to less. We're not taking it off the table. There's Says you. Yeah, and I, I think, and I think it's fair. That what's it, what, what, what? I think for that case of you don't tonight, think people we, are going to ask. Yeah, I think we happen. should. Why do people do it every year? I think they think 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 No, no, I, you're right. I think they will. I, and think. I think it's a legitimate question, but I think we know enough well, now to know that it's not going to happen. No, but I didn't say delve any deeper into it. Yeah, yeah. And I don't think the reason I think you need it on here is because when we did the merge, we weren't even given the option. And I was going to bring that up to Carl tonight. Well, the option of what? 
to not to have that as an option to to so right. that so that was, never that we conversation. Never ha but you but you so have this isn't one of the options to choice. So on. I think well, that's I think I think the point is finish. just I agree you. it's um it's comparing apples and oranges but I think we need to know. Yeah. And whether it gets presented on the same spreadsheet or not, I think that's an option that should stay on, but it's not one that we can answer. Financial right, questions we can't on. answer. It has to have research that we've been asking for, for. Number of students, possible to exactly. Of students, it's a whole cost different. Bus, it's a whole different spreadsheet. Yeah. It's, a, it's a whole different spreadsheet in and of itself. What makes up the total number? But there again, are right. every one of these that same oh, thing? Absolutely, absolutely. I just. Um, I just think it's the only Every one, one of think. these is going to need a lot more than we're giving a them. Once they decide to refine it down, or right. the, and then they, if they hire us again or whatever, right. to task us to delve deeper into mm -hmm. something, then we right. take them. And I'm right. not saying this is my choice. Right. I'm just saying people have the right to know what I think the difference is. Absolutely. Uh, look, you got number well, nine. Mm -hmm. Stock rich people can go wild and free and, and switching them out, right? You want to merge, you close the school, you say, can that legally happen? And I have no idea, I have no idea, but at least it's within the universe of yeah, possibilities that we're so doing I, here. So I was gonna bring that up, and I know, again, it's not popular. Um, I don't, I've talked to, to two business managers, a superintendent, I do still have a call into the AOE that hasn't been returned yet. I don't believe there is a vehicle other than suit, other than sue the state of Vermont, like some districts are, yeah. to, un, to unmerge. Right. So yeah, I would have, offer. They have the last say whether so, they allow it if yeah. only one of them. So I would so offer that nine and ten aren't necessarily viable. I don't think but we have we the. Them? I don't think we have the funds to to file a suit to unmerge us. I can, I, the only way I understand that any of that could happen is if. The towns decide they're merging with someone else. That would be easier for some schools to emerge if they had a plan. Right. If to that's what I'm right. 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 I, I believe you're correct. They will not allow it. I would it. like to say, though, to represent Stockbridge, that whatever decision we come up with, and if it's a decision that we split 40 60, but yet 90% of the money goes to one town and not the other, I think it would be something to think about. So it, it may, it's I think. 40 60 split and we get nothing and someone else gets something, I think we need to look at that. I Rich, think we have to look at this look document. At unmerge. I think we have to look at this document as not being uh, carved in stone nor the final thing. An idea, when we finally get to the communities, what we're trying to do is figure out a way to get to the communities with information. When we finally get to the communities, they may say to us, we think this is great, these four. We think one in five, and I'm not even picking my numbers out, one in seven are the best ones to pursue. Please go back and get us more information about that. This is going to be a living document. So it's not like if we take something off tonight, it can't come back on, or if something isn't on here. In our town, usually when something gets mixed, on. it never comes back. And I've experienced that for 40 years. Well, I think it would be our job, Joanne, to make sure if there's a if there's a strong voice from the community to explore something different, mm -hmm. the board, I'm going to look at Amy right now, the board has the obligation to explore whatever that different idea is. Right. Mm -hmm. They need to chart either send us back or charge another committee like us and say, this is the option that the communities want explored. And we never even looked at it once. Yeah, but I'm saying we need I to know, change but I, that. But I'm telling you that it's important. I, I, and I'm hearing options. you say that. I, yeah. I'm not hearing it's not because important. Because we were, yeah. I don't think there's a lot of return in relitigating re the merger. I think that if the merger were easy to get rid of, you didn't have to go to a lawsuit. A lot lawsuit, of towns are doing it. You know, I, uh, a lot of towns are in lawsuits are. trying to yeah. do it. I that's mean, right. It's, Why it, are they doing know, it? There's a they hate it. Exactly. You know, well, I'm not saying that, yeah, I'm not saying that Stockbridge doesn't right. hate it. But right. I'm saying if we have 10 things on our list and we're trying to swim, swim yep, it down, that's fine. That thing, those things which are just not likely to happen, uh, if you have them in there, it's just going to generate conversation on something that's not going to happen okay. and work. So I, I, I think uh, I, I, my vote would be to slim it down. But I think if it, it comes up, I think if there's a strong voice mm -hmm. from either community to look at unmerging, then we, the board would have an obligation to say, we need to go forward and figure out is this a possibility? If so, how does it happen and what are the implications? I, and, and again, it depends on the 40-60 split. 
That's a big one. 46 is what of what? The, the money. Population. Oh, right, population. What money? Like the budget. What, I mean, the budgets. I mean, if we decided a $5.4 million bond and 40% of it was coming from well, stock. But I wouldn't vote for that if I was in stock. I could give exactly. you, because I've thought of it. But listen, yeah. I've, because, because of my new enlightenment, I've thought a lot about uh, what a stock bridge person might think, because I continue I to say this that. is a, a political conversation. Yeah. If I were from Stockbridge, I would say, A, uh, Rochester did not maintain their buildings when we did. Right. Uh, B, there's twice as many buildings over there. And C, I was, in, I was at best uh, lukewarm about the merger in the first place. Right. So, so I can rationally I see uh, uh, a Stockbridge person just want to back away from all this. That, but that's a political question. And I think that's the kind of thing we have to think about. Same with Rochester. Rochester is not going to want to send their kids uh, off in 19 different places when most of those kids are not, or not a lot of the kids in Rochester walk to school. I mean, right. it's a, it is well, really community well, school. That. So the, I, I think it's not, it's not viable that the Rochester school would close. But I, I'm hearing you, Joanne. I yeah, thought about I, it. I, I, these are all going to come up in Thank the you. next steps anyway. I, Anything exactly they want to talk how. about and then the board's yes. got to decide. So since we're chatting and it's all going really good <laughs> so far and I like the A and all that idea, why is it that we can't consider the elementary school in Rochester? Why is that building with all the square footage it not good enough? I think we did leave it on. That's number yeah, two. Yeah, but I mean, it's, we all, well, Carl, Carl certainly leans to the high school. We all. What's jumping out as the big issues? For yeah, yeah. Defense. What is what is the big issue of not putting the, the elementary students in the elementary school? I don't have, uh, if you look at a media room, I don't I have a problem with some oh, pictures. I can tell you. What's that? Uh, uh, people in Rochester feel that they have a kind of artistic town. They invested a lot of money in the theatrical thing and the art room and the music room. Right. That's the kind of town it is. Right. And, that, and so there's a psychological ownership of it. I'm not saying it's rational, no. but there's a psychological ownership to that kind of vision of things. Right. Uh, and, the, and that's how that community feels. Okay. Uh, so do you, with that said, do you think with our students going there twice last year that it's viable for your heat to be 70,000 and ours five? I'm not talking about that. Okay. Yeah. I'm still from Rochester, and I, you know, and I, I see what you're saying. It, 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 from our standpoint, regardless of what, what's going on there, we have to be rational about the cost to make the high school more grade school, or you know, or whatever, whatever those costs but are. So it too. is an option. Either one of them are an option. Right. right. But, right. but we, we do agree you can only have one of them for the most part. But they don't part. now. Well, I don't think there is a, and correct me if I'm wrong, Rob and Amy, I haven't heard a compelling argument from anybody in Rochester to maintain both buildings. But yet we're there. I, I, that's what we have. I have had, I have, I have, it now. I have <laughs> had that. Yeah. I have heard the desire to keep the high school for all the reasons Rob just mentioned. Mm -hmm. I just like, see that. It, so I think the other thing we have to constantly acknowledge through this work is that both towns have strong feelings about certain aspects of how their youngsters yeah. are educated. Not necessarily rational ones, but strong. But right. just from okay. a business so standpoint, when I say, honest. okay, yeah. and, uh, now you're going to add a, just, are you going to add a gym no. back on? Are you going to, you know, how you, you know, I'd have to, I, I can see, I know exactly what you're playing, the White River players, and I mean, the whole town is like that. Right. I get that. The right. town meetings take place in them. Right, right. Exactly. And, that's, that's, and that's a great thing. That's the only reason I thought of that, more for the town might want to take one, it would be that one because of just the and I, that's where the town is and then they, the and then yeah. they yeah. use it well, to give it out sense. or sell it out right. to the mm. arts people and, and different stuff right. that's, that's kind, kind of, of the town took that building right. over then they could lease out whatever parts of it right, they, right. right. Yeah. 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 that makes sense you know. yeah, which is which is the first thing I said I think going right. that way and then right. Rochester could pay for it because it's right because it's their yeah. building and their love they so when I, when I look at the elementary school um, the, old, the one thing that I don't see is the flexibility to be able to add any more um, care for the younger kids, to add any more preschool opportunities. We can only for the kids. Not by repurposing the gym. What was the, well, when so they say that, what were okay, the so kids? So okay, this is the gym as well, time. though. And I mean, it's currently we, we have basketball in there mm -hmm. now. Yeah, that would be nice. Yep, you have. We'd love to have, have stoppage. Yeah, yeah, come out and play in there. I know. I know. Um, 
I understand what you're saying, but also Our I want to say that we are, it's, the auditory. it's something that is being used mm -hmm. as a gymnasium right now. It right. is being used for after school programs. It is being used on, so, you know, I just, I'm, I'm not saying so we right. had one but if you get rid of that building and decide that the one building you have is the high school based right. on your thoughts, that, that's a whole different right. can of right. so 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 It's what we, easier to go this way right. and release or use the right. space for one of the, things. One of the dilemmas in Rochester is that two of its, let's call them specialized faces, are in one building and two of its specialized spaces are in the other building. So the kitchen and the PE space, which is a gym, is in the elementary building. The, the uh, art space, the art room, and the music room are in the high school building. It would be so much our luck if all four of those were in one building, this problem would be far less complicated. But I think we do have to go back to the notion that we can't, at this stage of the game, it's, it, it's not necessary for us to um, eliminate completely options that respect what we know both communities feel strongly about for Where's the kids. Our art room? I think we can move all of these if forward. You, if you choose not to have an art room, that's on you. We chose it because we were fiscally responsible well, for years and we the, didn't well, have well, the well, no, bond. Not. Well, you asked I, me, I'm telling you. But, well, if that's Lindy, where do our kids do art? Um, in the multi-purpose room. Right. We share and where do they space. do gym? It's all in the multi-purpose room. And where do they have preschool? And we, and we in the preschool room. And repurposing Hollis is the key to using that well, gym effect. Well, Why do I keep calling him Hollis? I don't know, <laughs> but I'm, I'm wondering who's at the table. So, I'm, so the regardless, so I'm writing Willis right here in big letters. So, so are we, are we trying to eliminate another option? No, 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 no. 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 We just, I, I, I was just trying to get, I was trying to get clarification. Repurposing is a key. But I think, Amy, everybody, um, to answer your question, you s said something about, like, you're nervous about one space over the other, that oh, it was the school over the high school because of the lack of flexibility in the future. That I was think, my biggest. Try. I think that is something that everybody's going to have to come to grips with. There's going to have to be some sacrifices. I, I don't know what's the right sacrifice. I'm not going to be the one to pick okay. that for the communities, but we're all going to have to give some those give and take are covered to make it. Those right. items. But the right. reality is, though, even Rochester is going to have, somebody will have to make a decision right. on reducing eventually with students number right. up, whether one building goes away right. or you take the the theater and rooms you're using right in that one space and you detach it by lockable doors and lease the rest of the right, space right. to someone else or, 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 or put a walkway between the two buildings. I mean there's a million things you can do but I'm gonna get it I'm gonna get it happen. I'm gonna get it right this time Willis. Okay. Because the reason the fundamental reason for us to be able to do that is every dollar we're spending on maintaining space that we're not mm -hmm. using to the maximum right, right now mm -hmm. is dollars we do not have for field trips exactly. and math books exactly. and teachers. concerts exactly. and teachers and art experiences. Right. So, yeah. But I also really feel there's a lot of money that needs to be put into that younger generation. That exactly. So the younger we need too. I do, but, right. but I, think I think there's creative. I think there's creative ways to we do that right without right space. Start with Joe. Right, right now, in this case, the thing to do in oh, in the elementary is yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be. It creative. should be looked at as the option. How much is that three million dollars to do that and do what Star or Rochester wants? That's one thing. Or does the high school make sense and it actually costs less to renovate that right. to make it accessible and for the little kid? Right. Plus right. keep the mantra or whatever that mm -hmm. Rochester's trying to do. Right. That's all in, in this. Right. And and the only time in my looking at this, the only time we get the go ahead to spend money to do exactly what you just said is when we get some of these ideas forward and get feedback from the community we're interested in these four so please go forward and further explore okay. these four the only one thing i will say about using the elementary building and it, it's not for debate it's just a statement of fact if our populations um if 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 Stockbridge's declined and people decided they didn't want choice now that would have to be an option could they do choice and they wanted to come to rochester there's probably not enough space in that building. So there's not a lot of flexibility is all I want to say about the elementary school. Rochester, the present Rochester population 
pretty much maxes it out. Mm -hmm. I don't know that we're going to have that problem to worry about in the next, in the foreseeable future. Because right. everybody. Bethel is also right. declining. Right. right. Everywhere's declining. Right. Bethel's got space. Right. 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 Quite honestly, a lot of people in Starbucks go towards Bethel. Right. To, right. To try. And I'm not saying because I live. I'm just saying that's the reality, and I get it about spatial. Right. But there again. That's the conversation. One of them must go, or something must go, for the for the sake of Rochester's budget. Right. Say nothing about the this overall. So Rochester, I think something job, has to happen. Isn't our job just to put that dollar figure yeah. onto it? And right. So to say, like, that, this it's building, cost. This, so this option, one of them this building. make more sense than the other. Yeah. One of them might be the perfect one, but it costs five million. This one over here is not quite as luxurious, but it's three million, and then they get voters got to make their choice. Right. So my question. Yes. Yes. The so one should right. be kicked out too because three buildings. Oh, we, to maintain the status yeah. quo. Yeah. Well, 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 that makes some sense. I mean, why would, why would I don't want to maintain three buildings? That's what we voted. I don't have a I don't have a solution. The merge literally said two buildings. Right. Well, if we. It, regardless of what we do with that line item, we still need to come up with the cost for each building okay. for, as as well, a as long right. As we keep doing well, it so because yes. then it filters down to yes. to later. We need to know the cost of the minimum yeah. cost of SCS. Yeah. So then, as we go down through, we can keep that but same this, number. This, but this year, the number two could say so Rochester will purchase, purchase mm -hmm. one or the other, and you could get your pricing within that same line item. In other words, one or the other of the buildings has to go away. So whether you keep number two and and number three goes away, I mean next year, <coughs> one or two, you're really talking about the same thing. You do have to have prices on all three, right? But you have to have that to make a decision to get rid of one. Not you to have keep to see it, it in comparison. Right. You're not right. keeping. But I think Joanne's point is a good one. I haven't heard any of us argue, lobby, put a put a argument forward for maintaining three buildings. It was in the merge. None of us, none of us have two said that at any the time. The only reason to keep number one, and I agree with you, you're right, is the, is the idea that we're just, we're going to think about it for a while. We're not, we're not, we're going to sort of pat the band-aids on things, and we're not going to make any giant decisions until we know more. That's the only reason it's for me to see that. It's a lot of money, that. though. It's a lot of money. It is, it, it is the short-term reality. It's though. a short-term reality, yeah. yeah and we're so do we agree we should leave it on, or should yes. we agree we should take it on? I think we should leave it on. Yeah. Okay, all right, we'll leave it on. The reality is, yeah. if they decide just to do a couple one number one items or yeah. or it takes a year and a half to figure out what they're doing one can, uh, you're not going to close the building just so because can I ask right that, anyway. do we put fixed priority items and, fixed. The, and that is all the more reason to grow to get the right solution but it's not going to happen overnight so you have to discuss Right. right now, it's costing us X to keep this third building, but these are the priority items and these right. are the costs of renovating. I'm just thinking of them. the money that doesn't go to the kids. It boils down to two buildings, building. and quite honestly, Rochester's got a tougher decision in which one. Hmm. In the long run, with the money spent versus the student population versus community, which one it's going to be because one has to go. Right. Just to clarify, the, rules, the way we're structured now, it, that won't just be Rochester's decision. Mm -hmm. I mean, it'll be Rochester's no, no, decision no, no, to decide I, if they want to buy one. Yeah, but right. No, I'm, 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 I'm not meaning to make okay. it sound that way. Right. I, I, I think I'm trying to think, <laughs> stay fairly neutral well, here is in it, all the... I'm good with that. Who is it, whose decision is it of what building in Rochester these students are educated in. It is will fundamentally the be the decision of the school board. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And that will be, I would hope that would have educational input mm -hmm. to say the Community spaces input. and everything else, but it's also going to give you two very distinct financial numbers. It's also, you know, uh, uh, whatever it is comes down to a budget has to be voted on by the people. And we've got to stand by you have some sky high budget. Threshold. That yeah. threshold is a big deal. And yeah. I think yeah. that our board will do so, that. But the research to do both buildings to find out, to bring them to what would be the goal Right, because right. we're not talking about number one, we're now talking about number two, where you are going to have one of them. Which one will it be? And what will it cost? Got to figure that out. And they, and that will have a lot of discussion. 
So what does that say about number one? We're leaving it on? Yes. Okay. So I think, I'm, because well, I, mean, I think short term, is, that's exactly what we're going to do. It's short term right now, though. It's not short right. term after the study's done, is it? It's going to be short term well, right through the next, gonna next week. week. Whatever is other, than doing, other than doing uh, troublesome items, this is not happening overnight, no. people. It will and this won't even yeah. happen in March, even yeah. if you could get something on to get a vote, you're yeah. too late. Yeah, it's almost too late to get it in. And there is something to be said for kind of treading water for a while and getting more information getting and more you know, public yeah. meetings yeah. whatever it is the other thing that supports willis's statement he just made is that even if we could even if the board could make a decision in time even if we could get it on a ballot which we all agree it's too late vote. if you got, let's say you got a vote either way pro or con you have to let 30 days elapse to see if the other side wants to mount a petition to call a second vote so by then you're into april there's no way you get any major construction done in the summer that's just being authorized in april no, because even you're at least decide, decide, you have to well, you have I, no I, guess that was yeah. even minor. I don't mean major even minor even plumbing <laughs> contractors <laughs> they got their summer work booked up months ahead of time you're going to be short term for three buildings probably for a year but, yeah, we didn't vote process. on that. Huh? But we didn't vote on that. That's the hard part. That yeah. was not in our articles. I mean, but it is the reality of where we are. But but that's not right. I mean, I, know, I, guess, the, I guess the point. Uh, move the kids into one school. I, I think is. And do what? Shut the heat off and let them go to hell? I don't think no, so. No, no, I would Excuse never consider language. that, but I'm sure that you I, can drain I think we're getting into weeds. We don't, we're, it's well, way down. I think that, but I that. think that. I, I don't mind, Julian. I think we need to be in one building. I just don't have a good idea well, of how we do that. It's not happening over the though. next few months. Yeah, I mean, at the point, point deal. I, I think never that, do it. Uh, the whole idea of having three buildings is stupid and inexpensive. Right, but it's expensive, not inexpensive. But you have to have the option here. Here to tread water to because this right, is going to be really hard. Even though it's not what we voted on. I, I don't care what you voted on. Exactly. I don't care. I don't care. I don't, I'm not. I, exactly. that, what, what you voted on doesn't matter. We're in a situation I, I now. I think this conversation, though, keeps us from moving forward. Okay. I, no, 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 no. Joanne, I agree with you. I think three buildings is like. I think it's, it's, that's it's what it's my I think so, 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 so it would be easy for us in our report to simply state. That the biggest actual number one priority is is getting one of those buildings closed down. Actually, yes. I think that's and that's 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 make that their number one. The, our recommendation is to find the, the best, fastest <laughs> way to close one of those buildings, right. working on short term items until all these factors and for I may other be choices can happen. I may be reading this incorrectly, but I feel so strongly about what you just said that I would still suggest we take number one off. Why do we even put it there exactly. as an option? We can take three buildings. Don't care. That's right. I don't care. The so conversation's going to happen. What, what, what you just said, it. though, is exactly what I wanted out of this report, is I want to see how much is it going to cost for us to be in Rochester Elementary School. Mm -hmm. I want to see how much it's going to cost for us to be in Rochester High School. Yeah, so then we can say... Which is a better right, option? Not both. Yeah. Right. And which, but we, and I thought that, you know, we need to. Right, that's we right. Do. So one doesn't exist. We do. And in the very first meeting, 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 I said, job. based on that decision, it has to be educational based on right, people right. That, that teach it. <laughs> yeah. But you also have to look at what makes the most sense for the building you're getting rid of. Exactly. If, you're a, if you're a real estate person and you've got two buildings and you know I can sell this one now or do this now, yeah. then, then that has to right. be part of the thought process. Right. And I think we have to set the information up, exactly what you said, yeah. Amy. I think we have to set the information up so that the communities can do cost comparisons. If, certainly, if one costs two million and one costs seven million, probably not a lot of discussions going to happen. What education? But if one costs two million and one costs two point four million, right. then there might be some space to say, look, what are we giving for that extra four hundred thousand? Is it's it worth it? Is by it? everything that's in this report to do each of those buildings, then you start whittling away at it. It's the only way. It's okay. called VE. You're value managing items out of. Your, you you start out at your dream, and you go to reality. And start. And start. It's done every day. So yes or no so for one. I say remove it, and we'll deal with the issue in two. Okay. Well, I think that's I think I think it shouldn't be a real option, except 
as the lifeboat that everyone's going to be sitting in right. while we figure out something and, that I think and is I would only, more difficult than right. what we're talking about. And I would only want that asterisk to have that comment in there with this list that that one building should be a priority to come off as soon as possible right. once that decision's made or, or at some point. I think if so the way I'm looking at it, is, you could close the high school a lot easier right now, probably, than the elementary school if you had to do something. And, the, and isn't your um, backup generator connected to the elementary school? Right. right. Mm -hmm. I think taking it off forces the question. Mm -hmm. It's not an option, folks, for us to continue with right. two buildings. Well, I agree. Not, I agree with us. It's going to be a year, yeah. but that forces the issue. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Down it goes. Number one off the list. Good. <laughs> You so, Amy, maybe you can summarize what well, now we might think we're down to. We have a list. Okay. <laughs> well, so I guess my other, my next question is, do we need to change the, the headers based on all our? Um, yeah, I had a, I had a hard time coming up with, or, you know, like short term cost versus long term cost. But it was kind of more of just what the the cost of the minimum. On um, those, those will be in your line items, though. The, the right, but instead of, she had it as yeah. short-term costs. Yeah. And yeah. Right. But, it, gas but in number two, instead of having short and long-term, right. you, your short-term is right in number two. You're, you're doing your priority items. So these really, each of them should be just doing the priority item. E even, priority. even the decision in Rochester could be the number of priority items right at the moment. Uh, at least that would be the first cursor to say, Oh my God! You know, right now, without even coming out of the starting gates, we'd have to do this. And some of that list will come up over the next few weeks because right. the board is starting its budget development. So Lindy and I have to look at this report and right. say, what are the priorities that we must address this year in all three of these buildings? Because we are now using all three of these buildings. And so those two I, buildings have a lot to investigate. There's eight. What are the small eight things eight that we need? Well, and there's is, but there's some big things if you're going to go and stay there. Right. There's some but big the, items. Yeah, but we wouldn't take. <laughs> yeah, we wouldn't take those on this year, though. In no. terms of the budget, we're in the process. Right. 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 So, so short-term costs. Right. So the short-term cost is now basically the, excuse me, the um, minimums for all three buildings. Is that what we're saying? I think that's what okay. we pick or the ballpark. So, the so what that, without additions. What that, and without additions, I have that as, like in Stockbridge, move the bus plug, the fountains. I'm questioning about the multi, the ADA compliance of the bathroom, emergency lighting. Can I ask what you mean when you say question? Well, whether um, to do it? Whether it is a priority one it is a priority item. One item. Okay. We have a student currently who needs ADA compliance. We have the report failure to not. Okay. We're just opening okay. ourselves up to yeah. something bigger. So <laughs> then the only thing I took out for Stockbridge was <laughs> the <laughs> asbestos testing because we've already done that. And right. And so that doesn't need to be in that that cost. So if you're uh, if that you want to follow along, I don't know if you want to follow along on this sheet, but then um, the I thought we the red tile flooring was in here, but we were not going to. It was twenty three thousand and ninety one dollars mm -hmm. to do the asbestos for it. Was a baby. To remove to remove the red tile, and I thought that that was one thing that I took off. Because are are we talking about removing that tile or not? Well, well, for the minimums, we're well, there's minimums. no reason we can't maintain it if it isn't cracked and broken, is there? You don't have to touch it if it's not peeling up, if it starts peeling up. Okay. okay. So in the short so term minimum that, that right. this report tells us, if you go to page 14, so we started at, um, <coughs> it's, um, their number's wrong, so that kind of bothered me, but um, the, their, their total project cost was 100, it's 161 488 and then if I take out just those mm -hmm. those are two things and the well the project the project manager the asbestos and the soft costs it's a total of ninety three thousand dollars okay so that brings it to sixty 
68198 if you so take for stock rate for stock rate. So does that make sense that that would be the minimum things that we would be yeah. doing? To me it does. From what the, this report says. I would have to see your list and go through it again. I, guess. I took it, out the, all the 6,000 gallon oil tank on your list. This, you're not in Stockbridge. Oh, okay, so it's it's this number, yeah. and I took out the soft costs, yeah. this is yeah, this, and this project. <laughs> and then everything else priority was. <laughs> I, 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 I did it all what they have listed right. in you this, could, this yes. dark, in their priorities, right? It's mm -hmm. the, the underground fuel tanks, the... Right. <laughs> the underground fuel tank, are we using it? Or we're not yeah. using it. Right. Currently, we're not yeah. using it, and you're not taking it to the ground, and you're not selling the building. Stockbridge shouldn't spend money to pull it out of the ground. I don't, that, I don't think that's support. That's just to test it to see if it's leaking. that's. A, I don't know if that's a requirement or not. They're recommending you do and get rid of the tank, but I'm not. Okay, so that's that would another, need some investigation. That's another cost that maybe is not a minimum, is what it's you're thinking. It's not a minimum, right? Maybe. And, okay. and to help that along, um, the our sub board authorized a, a sum of money for us to look into the fuel tanks. We need to bring some people here to look into it, and we need to get them permitted. We found out that <laughs> that. Uh, your tank and one of our tanks are not permitted. And the reason we think that is is because they've changed the regs since they were put in and mm -hmm. we didn't get, somebody didn't and catch up with it. So, Amy, can you say your number? Okay, so for Stockbridge. I'm still trying to Ma figure this out. Okay, I'm sorry. This, so this is minimum, if you must do short minimum term. scope. So, minimum um, scope, yep. Yeah. If you go down to the bottom, the um, 141, 488 right. is actually not the correct number, it's missing $20,000. Uh, but it might just be that asbestos abatement well, that it's Amy, missing. I love you. You found missing twenty. Uh, so regardless, if uh, if you take out the soft cost, the twenty eight thousand two ninety eight, the first right. column up, and then the the um, oh, the project that. manager, the next one up, that's all I'm taking out, and then where's project manager? It's, it's the next. It's the only that. three. It's the only costs on page fourteen, basically. <coughs> Under minimum scope. Minimum scope, the only cost. Here it is, right here. Project manager. Project manager. Because there's no. Okay, oh, we're, we're, we're right. I'm questioning. Do we, that was one of my questions. Do we need that? We <laughs> so have to be careful because it's not just project management, it's insurance, it's mm -hmm. OHP, it's okay. contingencies, it's the payment bonds. We're going to have to leave Somebody's some of that do the Somebody's got to leave some Project of that in there. Put it back in? I would put some of it back in. Okay, how much are we going to put in? See, it doesn't say project manager, it says project management. So I don't know if that even includes a clerk of the works or... It's, it's, it, it's very clearly general conditions. That's everything from running running that work. In other words, Perfect. general conditions, you, you have a person that's in charge of making sure the subs are getting that work done. It's okay. an entire... Project. So do we need to read that 45 in? You, if you're going to do, what's the extent of what you're going to do? You'll need so, half of that cost. Okay, so we'd have because you won't be able to. Whether even if you get someone free on some of it, you won't get all of it. So if you see that fact from one thirteen, one okay. so half of it, we're going to take um, right. yeah. um, minus forty-five and half is twenty-seven, twenty-two fifty, twenty or twenty-two five rather. Yeah. 22.5. Okay. So, so you're taking that from 113. 22.500. Okay. So. What's your total number? So okay. now, that, that, is there anything else we're putting back in or? So the only thing I'm taking out then is the, asbest, the mm -hmm. asbestos abatement because we've already done that and the, um, the soft costs. Oh, for the project, is that correct? Mm -hmm. Fees and contingencies. Why would okay. we not have soft costs? We left some in. We just took out half of it, right? No, uh, no that was um, that we took out the project insurance and bonds. <coughs> yeah, I'm fine with putting them in. This was a question soft I had. Soft costs are unknown because they, right, they did it at twenty five percent. It was over all. half of the amount that it was. So it was I think ninety three thousand dollars. If they used, reason. it said they used twenty. It looks like their calculation was twenty five percent of. The construction cost. of the thirteen, yeah. yeah. So whatever your total is right now, maybe do twenty five percent. And that's where the question. Yeah, that's where the thirteen. So we, right. So I would rather us 
be high. That sounds terrible. No, you're right. Right. super you're right. low, and yeah. something and, comes up. And not so I, don't, I just want to be clear. Yeah. The number you have is the total number of all these priority items. It's this. Minimum Any of the dark, the right. minimum the scope items. The ones that are just number ones. Right. The Which minimum doesn't scope items is, right. is at all. So well, let's just take them. That was a question I had about these additional yeah. costs that didn't have to do with actual construction. So let's just take the ones. Did you take the floor out? Yeah, she did. I don't think, I'm not sure if that's what we did, but I don't think we can take all the soft costs out. Right. That's what we can do. He's over here. Oh. He's over here. Okay, let's see. Because we're we're going to need contingencies in there. We, we may need we're going to need we may need designs just depending on what we're doing. What floor okay. are you looking at? Well, flooring, the abatement. I see uh, it. You, yeah. If you're talking about short-term things that right. you need to do, I agree. that's not one. I agree. You don't need that. Uh, so you know, you, I would just take these items and read down through the page. Start with your total and start doing negatives. Right. Well, that's that's <laughs> what I. In my opinion, I'd need more research to find out that you really need to do the tag until you know more. Yeah. Or you can leave the money in there right now and know it's in there. Right. The, so maybe we the, just need the to red tile. I don't. I would not put that in short term. I would put that in overall. I would rather put. Um, what are we going to do with this put when we have ventilation. This well, this yes. is the, this is the number that for number two. Okay. If for number two, this is the right. minimum um, cost that for Stockbridge Central School. Right. For for the priority items for Stockbridge Central. School. So you're just taking their minimums and making some cuts. Yes. I. It, it, right. What they came up for a minimum in this. Report was 141 right. 488. I just was saying, is there anything that we can cut out of there that that is not really priority one minimums, or is there something that needs to be added that really is a priority but one? Minimum? At this stage of the game, aren't this we? Should just be a why don't we just use this figure because it's not going to be whatever it is, it's not going to be accurate until the engineers come in and. Uh, I'm okay with that too. If you start whittling stuff away, I just if I if I'm realistically looking at this though. That some of the stuff they consider priority isn't necessarily a short one or one year priority. You've lived with stuff the way it is for some time. But I'm also okay if we stay consistent to what you just said. I don't have a problem with that either. Well, putting that number because it's still going right, to tell the same. Thing. As long as it's apples to apples. As long well, as that's as we don't sell our decision on these numbers and then just go, the whole by the way, right. we're going to add two million to that because right. we want this. Right. 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 Well, because, or because we were wrong or because we took that. Well, right. Well, 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 because we're just so, doing it so to sell So we're going to have people read this report beyond that. Let's just put that number. So we'll say short Okay, so the minimum scope. So the minimum items. scope items for Stockbridge Central School is 101,488. Yep. Okay, so the minimum for Rochester Elementary School is 57,000. Okay, hold on. And so that's without any additions. Right. Correct. Right. And that's right. not adding so a you don't want by just the number one item. Right. No, so just the number one item. What's um, there right now? So I need to back up because yeah, I when think. I pulled that number, I took it from the column that was if minimum if remaining in two buildings oh. because it, I was using it for right. number one. Right. So if you move over a column to um, remain, if, on page if remain, 17, yes, page 17, we're now down to a million three. Now I would need to go back and take so a look at that. So which column will you be in? Okay, that one. So well, hold on though. Yeah. To, to maintain for a for a year mm -hmm. as is, wouldn't we take that remaining two buildings? Right, because I because so, I because we're not doing any major right because is in the assume all functions are at elementary school does in that and I haven't followed up enough is there an addition in that one point three? Yeah. Well, of space. Yes, exactly. in that column. Yes, exactly. I'm but just thinking back think to their right. drawings. So we yes, right take here. the addition out. Yeah. It, it, was was it was really tough. They didn't label the top of this mm -hmm. page. That yeah. was yeah. really yeah. frustrating. So if we take, what's the addition? Uh, so, so we have a, I'm um, curious if it lines up with that other it's column. It's 801. 8,000. 801. Oh, it's that 8801 one? Yes, it's that 801. But see, oh. the project manager, because they're doing addition, is now at 280,000. <laughs> So we wouldn't need that big of a project manager because we're not doing an addition in the short right, term. Right. So I kind of think we should go back to the if remain in two buildings as that short term cost. 
Oh, no, because isn't on. this the vote? Isn't aren't we making a decision beyond this two, this three building business? Isn't this supposed to be our decision beyond what we're doing right now? Say that again. Do I'm trying. Trying. I I'm guess maybe saying. I misunderstood. You just have to identify which one we're going to do. Either we're going to pick the column that, are, that oh, already okay. has okay. it down to one or already right. two. The problem with doing the two is we know one has to go away. Right. I That's think we I should mean. do the single one. Okay, okay. and then remove we'll some stuff. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, okay. that's exactly what I. Well, that's because what else is also in there? It looks because like because we got to get the reality. If, exactly. If they're keeping that okay. building for another year, then they'll know what that cost is. What it's costing them to yeah, keep it open? Sure okay, so if you look at, so now we're going to if remain in elementary minimum <coughs> one one point three. That's for the structure, not the roof. But that has. So I did just right, take, to right, take, we gotta take that out. out. I did just take out the addition, and it gets you to. All you gotta do is we'll read the column and right. But we out the yeah, let's mark out what we don't want, right. and let's go through and add them up. Um, I don't think we, if we go backwards, how much in soft costs and in project management insurance and bonds Legal. do we need if we're not? If Legal. We're not, Those will all be adjusted based on. Per, Percentage that it's agreed to, and the size of the project. You shouldn't. You sh if you just left it in Starbridge, leave it in all of them based right. on. Yeah. Even the addition isn't going to make it's a, just a difference. It's a huge difference. It's between ten thousand for not building. Yeah, but what's the budget? What's but it's demo? only sixty thousand dollars when you take out demoing the other building right. and the addition. Well, right. like there's demoing the other building, oh, yeah. right? Where that's right. bottom right. of right. the right. which is not so it's it's like a million million dollars. Yeah, right. that's not even in. The, that's not even in one of the columns. That doesn't mm. go, transfer over. So number four. It doesn't go all the way. It doesn't go over. Right. Right. But is the soft cost included in that? Right. Thing and, is the, I mean, and is the demo is, 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 is the, that included? But it's only in this column, Lindy. See, that's what she said. I think we should. I just think we should re-percentage it See, to be the same percentage. Right. So you have to so do that. Right. No, we left it. Oh, we just left the whole amount. You should take out the. If we could take out some costs and then find a number and then take a percentage of that to get. You'll need seven to ten percent of what your value of your project is at a minimum. Yeah. You want to be careful. You don't want to take out. You don't want to take it that's out twice. Why, that's why that's what the them. problem is. They're, they're using the same percentage. They use the same percentage that. throughout for those right. soft costs. <laughs> so so um, you, it's no different if you take one million ninety three thousand and figure their soft costs. You can figure that percentage and then just do that percentage based on your. Lower cost. Yeah, well, it says well, that's what I'm saying. Like twenty five. It says right in the spreadsheet. They're using twenty five percent for for everybody for every which which um line go down to other LA, 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 LA. and that's everything yeah. 25 percent yeah right. so right. i'm just saying so if you don't put, put those soft costs i'll guarantee right. the so unknowns you'll find on any right. of these right. projects right. yeah are huge they're all buildings are going to be yeah. huge so and, it, and there again you you okay. know what you're putting in on all of them so you can change that when you get down to the brass facts. right right now it's just so when we pull out numbers when yeah. we get that total, we're going to use 25 percent we're not going to cut that in half Simply right. using this report because if we if we mess with this too much, right. well, um, people that are looking at this or have copies of this are going to say, what, what why, you, "Why did you do that? Why why is this okay. not?" It's not lining up. That's true. Right. So we can take out for that column of the elementary minimum the eight hundred and one thousand dollars for the addition. Yeah. Or for because the addition. Because due to the minimum. Somebody's going to a document that has all these numbers in it. It's clear when you are you trying to do that? <laughs> and I, okay. So what's your total? Minimum. Minimum. Well, is there anything else before I uh, minus that? Because I'm still struggling with which column here. Oh, okay. So this is the column. Okay, so it is scratched here. Yeah, you see. Oh, yeah. It's not in the top. Okay. No, yeah. And I wish they did this in the top. I can't imagine you're trying to <laughs> so right, if you go over and I, uh, it's the I don't, fourth column from the end. I don't think there's anything else that we would no, we would take that. out. So let me just take that out. So I got five ninety three zero six three. Five nine. Tell me if you get something different. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll go ahead and do it. <laughs> if there's something I'm not taking out. Uh, uh art music. So you're taking fifty nine thousand three hundred sixty three. Is that what you mean? Yeah. Okay. 
boy did I screw that up. 63 minus base mitts What's the speed? Okay, so that is what I got. Where are we? Um, so now how do we readjust Entrance. the um, soft costs and the Time. project what what costs? Are we in? Elementary school. Because those percentage. costs of this, so it's doing it's doing it's doing in other words, this right. this the, the, the 500 is that taking out just the cost. That's not <laughs> That's not taking any of this off. So right. the only way to do it is take the true cost, take all the soft and other out, find out okay. what the true cost is, and then add the percentage. So take out the other soft yes. cost, too? The, the soft cost and the... In other words, you, re you just reduced it by... Eight Almost thousand. a half. Right. Right, which is what happened in... So seven. guarantee your soft costs are going to go to just about half. So then I get 314,250 to then multiply for the soft so cost. you just took out... So if you take 350, multiply it by the percentage that you're paying, you'll yeah. have a number that will work. And we're keeping the project management insurance and bonds yes. at that same cost. So the only thing... Yeah. Point, that's yeah. fine. I just <laughs> want to make sure we're all you're talking right. about the same now. thing. <laughs> That would be important, Amy. Yeah, it's a good That's all I need. to pay it in case someone gets hurt. I say that to Bonnie all the time. Minus. What'd you get? Twos. Okay, the irony in this is I was a high school social studies teacher, so this is a lot of. This is too much? Well, no, I think I'm right, but then times we're times in 25%. Yep. Yep. All right. She's not going to say it out loud. I, I, <laughs> <that's>, <laughs> I want to know if I followed all no, that correctly. You, you did. Okay, so the the cost, and then add that, we'll add. I don't know if it will, I'm going to write it down. I'm used to using an adding machine, so you have to do stuff different. No, I knew I wouldn't do that. All right. <laughs> That's what she's got. 314, 250 plus 78562.50. Okay, so yeah, so 392812.5. That's 50 cents, baby. <laughs> Could be important. <laughs> I will chip it in. Okay, so that that's is funny. So that's that's the number that is 39. No, that's for elementary school. Mm -hmm. Oh, we changed it. Okay. Jesus, we've changed it three times. 390 to well, Just because we wanted to get those the the construction the construction okay. out. She doesn't want to pay anybody oh. to do it. Okay. <laughs> 390 to 800. Okay. All right. I don't know. High school. I, okay. So now the high school. If we go over to the page. Put the page here. Move it. 20. Okay, no titles on the ones either. So we, might, we need to be looking at. Oh, I don't. Um, okay, so the high school minimum would just be the scope. It remains opened and uh, repurposed. Is that correct? The first blue column. The first blue column. I'm not sure. I'm. I'm HS repurposed. No. Uh, oh, they didn't move their things over. Because oh, scope so items. The second blue item is scope items. If RES remains in high school, is repurposed. No. The first that's one is. Not the one we want. Well, the first is we have minimum and suggested if if the high school remains. But aren't we now at the next to last column? Scope items if RES moves to HS. Yes. Minimum? I think you're right. Right. Yeah. Next to the last column. Yeah. Oh, it has yeah. That's what the we want. Additions. Yeah. We they want changed that column. the title. They the changed end. the column. Can I second right. from the end? Yeah. It starts off at uh, okay. two two million <laughs> ninety nine six twenty five. Okay, and so. That's okay. Um, out there. Again, I would remove. Uh, oh, see, in here we have the big tickets are a um, renovating for a gym and a cafeteria, renovating for a kitchen, and renovating for. Those are priorities. Well, that's what I'm saying. That they're in the overall. They're, right, they're, right, but they're not. Our column does right. not have all those. Right. They, they looked at it as just one or the other, not with that I choice see. of. So to repurpose so without, without getting those luxuries, right. there should be a deduction on this one. Right. Just like we did. So I put it okay, in. Okay, well, hold on. No. Now you're talking about repurpose. Repurposing would be. No, 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 no. no He's that's saying that's do the column. Just like a priority for that. Anything that says the repurpose is still keeping both buildings. And we we got rid of those. 
Okay. I think. Oh, it's us repurposing them? 2099, and then which items are we going to get rid of? Oh, two million. The question. Okay, well, and what, and what, and what, hold on. What are we, are we at the stuff. just maintaining as is, or are we yeah. at, because I thought. I mean, Even if you are, you have to do everything, but you don't need to get a new kitchen. You don't need to get a new. Right, hold on. If, if, uh, if we do what? Anything? The minimum. Yes. If, if you just simply minimum, stuff. move over there. Well, to minimum, that has, you have to have that. See, that's different. If we're if you're moving over, so, you have to have a kitchen. The way they the, looked at this, the the way way they were yeah. comparing yeah. apples and oranges. That's, that's just not what our option two I think is. Put in there because it would be yeah. nice. I think right. We, so I'm not sure. I'm confused exactly as to where we're at. Where we're at I got you. <laughs> but if we move to the high school. You got to add the kitchen in. We only have to, yeah. We only have to add the kitchen in if we're not going to access the elementary school kitchen. Right. right. And right now, I we just have to right. decide which way we're going. So you have to leave the kitchen in. Okay. So for middle school size gym, cafeteria is needed. The but question is, repurpose or short term to move into the high school. We you don't, don't have that. to have that. Right. Right. So I might. Nice, have, but you don't have okay. to have it. So I right? was looking at two A, where but we are still sharing. Right? No. We're no, sharing the necessary. responsibility with the town. Oh, oh, oh. Well, no food. No, no like it's the it's auditorium in. situation where the town would have access and we would have permission to use the auditorium in the music room. Okay. What we can't do without some gym. Quite a bit there. We're required to offer phys ed, so we can't. Well, we have phys ed. I know, but the engineer suggested the in, in the high school you repurpose that big open room right. as an elementary okay, school. Okay, then that has to be left in. Okay. They, that is not what this the drawing show. I'm lost. They do not show they repurposing that that, that open area as. No, they're open. showing the new. They're showing to repurpose another area, that the shop area, as a new gym. Gym. Yeah. yeah. The there's purpose. another bump on that picture. But how that ends up in the end is irrelevant. It's to what irrelevant. We're doing yeah. No, either. Yeah. yeah. Right at the moment. I thought I heard the the. Uh, that big open area with had the open walls or whatever. It's a big common area. That was definitely a discussion point. You know. but that's not what they put in in here. And that mm -hmm. couldn't be a gym because it's only like an eight foot ceiling. If it, it's not much more than that. This is a that would be target practice. Yeah. Um, I guess where I'm confused is I'm just trying to follow along with the spreadsheet and put dollar amounts in, and I had moved down to two A. Well, I don't. Okay. Trying to fill in what it would cost short term for Rochester High School, which we had said to maintain a. Rochester High School okay. and Stockbridge Central School, fix priority to items, and determine if the town of Rochester will purchase RES and share responsibility of gym and cafeteria. Okay, I, the, if you're calculating that the same way you did the elementary school, then you wouldn't calculate any additions. Right. Right. Yes, if we're on 2A, if that's where we're, what we're looking at, we which is to the town would own, but we'd be able to use the kitchen and the gymnasium, then we would not add any of, we would pull out that repurposing the, 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 the $872,000. But but is that comparing to apples? I guess I'm confusing addition with Right, see, I, I was thinking, we were, I thought we were looking yeah, at... If you're going to get rid of it, the, it remember, this is, this is simply the minimum to do with what buildings. It, you, have to, you have to do the high the school repurpose. over to make it work for gotcha. it to be one building. Correct? I was comparing it to apples. So if you took not. all of these costs, even putting the kitchen and or the gym or deducting or putting the gym as an asterisk, that's the cost for you to cl not be in the grade school to bring the high school at a minimum to where you need it to be to function. Gotcha. That's so the that's the way I'm reading that. Because we're I back up you. to two building. And I, we are not back up to two building. No, no, I know. I know. This one here is not. And that's okay. what we're trying to establish. Okay. Yeah. How much does it cost if, if the group pays to have the high school be the one or we just did the the other one to be the one right so, so regardless of which one of these are ours we need that information to either add it in these or not so then do we need to go back to the elementary school and add in repurposing that that wasn't the, what we took out we took out an addition 
Right. Is there repurposing that we need that we is not? That a, is that a requirement to I, turn that into there? If it is, then yes, I, I don't know. you should. Okay. So I don't know. Go What's, the question? What's the question? Is there repurposing? Is there a cost needed to be associated with repurposing the elementary school for the for us to just be in the elementary school? Is there Rochester. something that needs to mm -hmm. to happen in there? Yeah, there would be something that we'd have to we'd have to look at things like building shelving in the locker room. I mean, yeah, our but, it's not, but it's not that. But bad the way issue. they described it is not as. Um, the question I was trying to answer is what would we have to do if we moved everything into everything the elementary into the school? Elementary. Would we have to do major construction in the, the elementary gymnasium? kids in the elementary school before the high school closed? No, I'm just talking about art and music. No, I'm oh, talking oh, about oh, oh. No, and they weren't. Fifth and sixth oh. were in the high school. Fourth, fifth, and sixth. I, I, See, it's been a long time since Rochester's had K-6 in the elementary building. Five, five and six were, over were in the high school. school. Mm -hmm. So that that's a piece. Um, just if, if we're... To, to make sure we're comparing everything correctly, what was, is there anything that would have to be added back in? Is there any major things that we would have to do with the... There again, I, I, take, the, I take the entire column. The only thing I would change, you, right. if you're going to do it, okay. mm -hmm. and you want what you want, for the if, if we agree, or even if we don't agree, that to use the elementary school for a functioning short-term or long-term <laughs> single building, mm -hmm. take the whole column. Okay. So then we Same thing that. in the high school. Back to the middle. You won't necessarily the, get those then, items, but that's right. apples to apples. Right. And let the, the community middle. give us direction once of we course. get out there with this They may say, no, you're not they getting may an say addition. No, Your number of students is going down, figure it out. So, so that, that minimum, that's so that's 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 all functions at elementary school building. So use that 1.3 uh, number then, right? I guess. Is that what we've done with the others? That's well, that's what we did. Remember, with we're just pulling numbers right. together. Yeah. We haven't even necessarily figured out which column we're using these in. But right. these are numbers we have to have. I if see. you're going to go to a single building, you have to know what it will cost to go to high school, and you have to know what it will. And and Stockbridge to do what they're suggesting as the minimum to become viable, even short term or into some, mm. is X. Right. Yeah. And that's all you're doing right now. And I don't then you can decide where to use them. Thank you. And I don't want to throw a monkey wrench into this, but if somebody saw this and I didn't let me know, every time I've read this, I haven't found in the moving to the high school one. Are we on that now, or do we go by that? No, we had moved on to working on the high school right now. Yeah, so okay. I, I had jumped back okay. because yeah. of the right. we needed to add. What I one. didn't see, and please correct me if I'm wrong, in the moving to the high school one okay. is monies to, I guess I'll call it retrofit the high school. In other words, the blackboards have to be lowered. They're, they're, it's all high school level stuff, and you're bringing first and second I graders. I thought about that. Was yes, that building. Yeah, building stuff. I saw it. Did yeah. somebody yeah. see it? Moving costs because basically. Interior finishing, gypsum board wall, painting, baseboard, hot water, domestic, uh, theaters, egress. And there again, yes, you're yeah. probably going to find those items as as functioning items. They're, they're called FF and E items. You'll have those. You may need different chairs. You may need, I mean. So that's what it's There should be a budget on all of them for FF and E items. What's which FF and E mean? Finish and, Thing. It's like chalkboards. It's finishing. It's yeah. It's just it's not free on that stuff. Hmm? It's not free. Though. No, it, it's it should be put in on all these projects. Okay. If so, it's good that you remember that yeah, you'll need those, and if you do, they're putting the space in. You have to populate that space with the right number of chairs or the right. I mean, you're going to have FF and E. What's the E, Willis, in that FF and E? Fit, finish, and okay, <laughs> that's all I didn't okay. have. Okay. Yeah, all right, I'll just call it fit, FF and E. Fit, finish, and uh, something. something existing. Yeah, because there'll, be, cause there'll <laughs> be there'll be a cost for a, for, for a moving company to actually vacate everything from one building to Unless another. Unless you do it as a as a weekend thing for the community. Oh well, yeah, the you community know, could do it. But yes, you will have costs. Okay. You have cleaning costs. You will have furniture, moving costs. Furniture, fixtures, and equipment. Equipment. Furniture, fixtures, and equipment. That's what it is. I, it, she would kill me for saying this, but. Janet would occur here, and I make a fine moving company. <laughs> <laughs> Could you we give did. us a quote on Rochester Elementary School? <laughs> yeah. We can. She'd kill me. 
and I like her too much to do that to her. Switch column. Okay, so in the high Second school. Second one in from the end. Yeah. With two. That, the two. Second two million. Two million ninety nine. Oh. The first white column. <coughs> right after the boy. Two. Royal. Zero nine nine six two five six six two five. Okay. Wow. Whoops. Okay. That's elementary school. And like I said, that's it. the numbers in Rochester to bring those to one building thing are are costly, but. That's the reality. You can't. You can't. So you, 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 there's no reason to stick your head in the sand. These, there yes, they right. are. Okay. <laughs> right. So, so comparably, in, in, yes. When it says soft costs, of course, those bug me. Those soft costs. Well, they that, just that may, up so soft high. Soft costs yeah. may soft costs be may be where they thrown in for for fitting. Yeah. Equipment. Sure. So it's uh right. So. Oh yeah. So yeah. Okay. Because those are those numbers are high for a soft cost, but a soft cost would be the same almost as FF and E. It could be curtains. It could be chalkboards it could be chairs it could be Bonnie on page 20 it says renovate for use as elementary school classrooms and offices oh where did you find that it column. yeah 20, 20. No, page no, 20 right there. Okay. I saw. ah there you go uh, we were at classrooms and offices for program needs but it only says that in the column all the way the suggested over. but it doesn't say it, it doesn't in put it in the um one we just used for the minimum <laughs> See, it's only in one rob they only moved it into What's that far away you know you gotta have it so add it and say you uh, make it okay. that, they, that you did add it okay you so should we add that whole amount you, it doesn't be any good right to build a bunch of rooms and then not have to be able right. to use them <laughs> never has you're right. it's realistic <laughs> that number's realistic you can do that in your house <laughs> Sit on the floor. I mean, flexible seating. <laughs> flexible seating, all right. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, plus. <clears throat> so, what we established was really um, number one: what the minimum uh, to keep to to function in Stockbridge Central School. Two, the minimum to function all of Rochester students in the Rochester Elementary School, and three, to uh, to all the L the Rochester Elementary students in the high school. That's correct. Period. And We're I not would, doing any I would, not, I would not mix it up with calling that short term. Yeah, that Those is, are the monies that it would take for you to function. That's true. As a if we did A, uh, it's going to be if we did we're not going to pay two million dollars in and have it only last year. Right. The, don't get bogged um, down in that. Tree. This is the cost. If Starbridge is going to stick around, it's X. If the high school sticks around over in Rochester, it's this and it's this. Right, so you've got to keep it simple, or you're going to just keep grinding. And this is with just, just using grinding. those individual buildings, no crossover. Correct. That's right. One building only for the right. right. So it's in right. comparison. So I didn't even put it, and I just wrote down. We need to write that no crossover. So right. it's not. It, it is not option two, and it's not option two A. Right. It is not anything. Right now, it just says Stockbridge Central School cost minimums a hundred and forty. But that's still going to play into all those, and we don't even need to do those numbers. Right. I think we just put those are the three numbers they need out. to figure out what the costs are, or task us when they right. decide to do right. what. Right. It's and I think, as, as Will said, I think a number of the questions are going to come up are going to be related to some of these, but they're going to come from the community. Yeah. And all we got to do is put that little asterisk that says these costs are merely based on one simple report. When we decide what way the communities are going, we'll work and Did we'll we? work towards that. Yeah, because eventually you're going to have to work yourself to a final solution. You're not going to go to a bond without some accuracy. What I was exactly. going to say is, did anyone get the numbers on the bond? Other than Carl, I guess, got an interest rate or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, the, it's, it's still a lot of money for 15 <coughs> years for yeah, it's the, any common taxpayer. The money's going to be definitely over the mm -hmm. threshold. Building. Construction costs don't have to count in the threshold. 
they pull those out. Some do though, right? None of them? Not construction costs. You're, I so think you're at the F at the knee and certain things are. Your equipment that you put into it, gas that you put into it, stuff, that stuff like that, but your right. actual bond but and interest. still has to get paid in the tax. But aren't we within a whisker of the threshold? Yes, well, I think but, so. I mean, but it, but we have the, one school the, board member that's your answer. Yeah, we're close we enough. one whisper. <coughs> Off the uh, last year's budget, or the yeah. current year budget, yeah. we're pretty close, yeah. So we'll see going forward. Hmm. Oh. <coughs> okay. Wow, I feel like we got a chunk of work done. <laughs> Am I, so am I overly... Have we eliminated 70, we have, we have totally... Uh, uh, we <laughs> had this, we sat this and down, and, and we did something else. Is <laughs> okay? I mean, it has to be presented. But we decided to take it off this list and right. then just make notes about... Obviously, just in the conversation, the, they, the school board no. due diligence should be making a best get <laughs> to tuition out. We don't think it's going to be a viable option, really, in either town. We've tried it here, and it's failed because people don't want to. And at that point, well, it was we never offered stricture. it actually. Well, we've had the conversation about it several times, we, even in right. Stockton. But I don't think older we, people, more people older in the town, they got less kids. It's uh, it comes up. And so again, we, we put, talked about these not necessarily. So we away, put we put these down. Mm -hmm. and we pick that up. And so we are. We've established the cost for each, all three. For all three buildings individually. So it's almost like as ideas come up, you can move those numbers around. If somebody yeah. says, "Have you looked at doing boom, boom, and boom?" Yeah. We can say, "Yep," and it would cost boom, boom, and boom. And then I think on the short-term side, we should look at things that that over the next year or during this process that should be budgeted. Yeah. Right. Um, you know, some of it is, some of it is not. The emergency lighting, I get that, but you don't do enough nighttime stuff here to, to right. spend that money if you're not going to do it. The electrical mm -hmm. panel, if you're fixing it anyway or right. going, leave right. it alone. In some the of the short term costs, you'll still need as a <coughs> fiscal responsible board. There are some of the items that are listed here that need to be done right off. Right. And some you're of that. making room for your this, uh, I mean, those are. Right. And the, other, the other thing we now have to do is we'll have to take these, let's use emergency lighting as an example, take these recommendations, we have to lay them over our uh, insurance carriers recommendations, which aren't always recommendations, sometimes they're must-dos. Right. Um, you know, I'm assuming you're up to speed on those. Well, emergency That's lighting is one of them that keeps coming up, because we're not well lit outside, and they only no. need one compound fracture of a leg to say, we're sorry, but you should have put emergency yeah, again, lighting I, up. I, I, but it can be I CO'd a $20 million building because they met where they needed lights on the egress door, and I bought two solar lights and it put them on the walk. Where did you find that? That's exactly <laughs> what it is. It literally is that low of a like, They don't tell us what we have to do. All they, they do, do is they 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 get they get the light one light. lumen of light to get you yep. to the parking lot. Right. This, this, is very this building has a lot of egress right straight to parking lots. This isn't like you have to walk across. Right. A lot of dark space. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've, so I've, how I've, where would you say we are right now? How can we take a position of? I, uh, I think that we are. Um, I think we shortened that list. We did. We totally changed the list. Well, and we're going to the board and saying um, we have looked at this report and we've established that um, Rochester needs to be in one building. And this is the cost of this building and this building, and this is the cost of minimum at Stockbridge. Is, so, your, is our list of options three or is it six? On this list? Yeah. No, this list like got set down. Is what I see. List got. I don't those, see those list of options that we crossed off still should be in their purview, but all we did was pull numbers out of here for Stockbridge there. What it Stockbridge was. could spend minor amounts of money just to bring some of the stuff up to either insurance or, or whatever or minimums. Rochester, we could pick items out of there in another meeting. We could say, all right, well, they're building right now. You desperately have a problem with the water. Backflow valves and stuff are really important to, to have. They're in there on yours. Those should be immediate things that are budgeted. But that's different 
than okay. what we're trying to do. Exactly. So, uh, but I'm, I want to get back to the number of. Sure. Eventually, Option. something goes to the. Do we have six or three options? Mm. Do we still have close them and choice them, unmerge them, and unmerge them? I to go on record saying it should be out there, that set number seven, but that's just my opinion. Okay, you want seven and get rid of well, one and I guess I, I thought yeah. that the numbers we just came up with don't maintain t two or two A at all. So I think you're right, Amy. I think we could take so that right off. Just, we take right, I think right. we've just changed it to, to number one is stock bridge, is the cost for Stockbridge. Two is the cost. Maybe if we want to combine them. N number one is the cost of Stockbridge and, and Rochester right. Elementary and School. Sure. Number two is the cost of Stockbridge and Rochester High School. Mm -hmm. So maybe we have two options. Maintain Stockbridge and Rochester and Elementary right. School. Yep. Maintain Stockbridge and uh, Rochester mm -hmm. High School. Right. And... Uh, Close Stockbridge, Rochester Elementary School, Rochester High School, offer choice for all students, and everything else and, goes away. And number one could be in there without leave as is, just just maintain fixed priorities on the two chosen buildings, fixed Stockbridge priorities. Central and whichever building in Stockbridge. And that could be that determined at that point to what you decide right. has to be done right now. It's not really number one. So you're right. You could get rid of two, three. You could have one. Seven you could leave on just because it's not our option to price anything on, but it is an option maybe. I don't know. And then, and then, then, we, change, then we change these lists to, to just say what we did. All we have to do is say what we did. And Here, it's Stockbridge and the high school. It's Stockbridge and the, and the elementary. It's neither. That's the choice one. Here it is. Or neither all together. And then up here is... Uh, while we're working, not leave it as is, but maintain uh, Stockbridge Central School and one of the buildings in making while making Rochester. a decision. Right. right. I mean, those are your three or four items. Right. You're right. Get rid of nine and ten completely, and they'll either come up or they won't. Right. Right. Because there's not legal. Right. Now, so it's right. not like as you're really down to you're down to four options in mind, right. and right. one of them is a short term which is that number one item which is just get by for right now in two buildings as fast as you can as fast as you can get to two buildings well, in making a decision uh, so and that, that, might, two that might not even be an option that's actually the given we've that's got to, we've yeah. got to we've maintain still these, discuss the cost right but we've got mm -hmm. to maintain our buildings and we have to work. <coughs> I'm getting to one. Right. That's what I mean. Right. So the given is we have to maintain these buildings, and we have to get to one building in Rochester. But our recommendation as is get to one building as fast as possible. Right. That's, that's what I was. Really that's what I was saying. But you don't yep. have to do all the maintenance stuff on both of those buildings. No, but you have to. But you, you have, have to keep the heat going. No, no, I know that. I realize that's that. all we're saying. We're stuck in there because. Well, maybe in the no, summer. No. So, no, no, as a cost awesome. comparison, if it was worded this way, I think this is how I summed it. While making a decision to get to two buildings, too many twos in there, sorry, um, to two two buildings, one in Rochester, one in Stockbridge, I don't want to confuse people, yes. maintaining slash fixing priority items in all three buildings. Is that the right language? That's what yeah. we're saying we're doing. Or like maintaining all three buildings, not necessarily fixing. Right, because why would we do maintaining? All those I wouldn't make I wouldn't make anything exactly. maintaining an item. I would put I would put an asterisk on the bottom of our list. Priority: reduce Rochester by one building as fast as. Right, because why would we not fiscally, but as fast as feasibly possible? And you, I mean, right. you know you're going to have to maintain. You're doing it now. Right. You are going to keep doing that. Why? It, it doesn't need to be on the list. Right. You're going to do it. All we're saying is our right. study right. shows you got to get out of one. So <laughs> to be a devil's advocate here, so, so yeah. let's say uh, we say to the voters of Rochester, we're moving everybody out of the high school, and we're cramming them into the tiny... I'll run to <coughs> old elementary school. <laughs> Whoa! And How do you feel? Have you looked around? <laughs> oh, and, uh, <laughs> but I'm not yeah. that. Okay. And we're going to continue to heat the other building because we don't, uh, the, the high school, we're going to heat it. It's going to be there, uh, but we're not going to anybody in it. 
So no, I don't think that would ever come up. No, because this is the town. Because, because yeah, we're, yeah, we're yeah. saying you have to get rid of one. Yeah. Yeah. You're saying one. Well, one. I'm, I'm perceiving. He's playing devil's advocate. In the eyes right. of the voters of right. He's of, pretending uh, he's right. So right. you say we're going to put the kids on the ratty old 1953 uh, <laughs> the 70s high school building and mothball it, lock all the doors, sever it, or whatever. We don't know what we're going to do with it. But meanwhile, it's going to be heated. So then they're going to say, well, it's going to be heated. And it's going to be sitting there. Why, why don't we put the kids in there? How much more would no, it cost I, to put the kids in? I, and that's where our numbers come up. I don't think we would we would sh lock the doors and not let the kids in as long as the district still owned the building. As soon of as we, we would try to get it off out of the district, do it as soon as possible. And what are the options to do that? And while we're in the district, and then as soon as it's not, one option is the town buys. Right now, if the and it's a simple question: Will they? Well, they, they get the first option. Is that they, right? They get the first, yeah, they get the first option. option. And on that, you could sell it to a chemical plant or something. You know, they uh, can do whatever they want. So, but all I'm saying is, if this was a presentation to the right. to the town, I would say, well, well, wait a minute. Why? You know, we're still paying a bond on that right. thing. You're still heating it. Aren't you? Oh, that old ratty 1953s. Mm -hmm. Would you put? There's two million dollars that's proposed to put into that to make it not so ratty. Right. Mm -hmm. And then I would and say, meanwhile, the town of Rochester cannot afford to heat space based on student volume of all of this, all of both buildings. No, no, I'm, I'm yeah. except uh, you I are going to heat it. We you have to keep it at 55 degrees. We we are until we're not. They, they could so why, so why right, it use, could be until spring of this year. But So why can't I use the, put my kids in there until that time? Well, why are we cramming? I'm not I, saying. If you're I'm putting them in there right now. It's so just I, a thought right. exercise. Yeah, until I'll, June. I'll come back to you that this is yeah. about politics, not about money. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it is about money because you're not going to get right. the votes. Yeah. Uh, but you have to convince the people of Stockbridge it's good yeah. for them. Yeah. And if they're feeling like they got screwed on this, then they're going to want to make sure they're not getting screwed on You're in two right. different time periods, though. Right. This time period is this is what we're proposing. Yeah. Right. This is where you really are. You're not going to not use that space for the rest of this year. I would almost guarantee no, it. Even You're going to get season into season. the warm season in the right. summer. Hopefully there's been, hey, conversation with the town and everything else before they even but get that's handled. But that's here. a lot to put in this tiny chart. No, I'm so talking they are going to do job their job as a as because as a we don't know if the town will take it. it. But it's a big if. It is. And I think the, uh, the, the this question... You can only afford one building. Mm. But you're paying for it anyway. Until you get rid of it, you're paying for it anyway. Until yeah, you get rid of it, you're paying for it anyway. Right. I mean, well, well, Stockbridge is paying for it. That's exactly what you want to do, though. Right. Life's hard. Life's hard. That's as easy as that. You know, now you guys at Stockbridge should have thought before you got well, to that merger. But I think, I think, the fine print. Well, okay, I think, I think, he's mean fucking. The one that said you reduced the one building. The one where you said you'd reduce the one building. That merger? Yeah, that's true. Okay, just checking. So I'm not, I'm not, I think this is, I agree, I agree with you totally. I'm just saying that you got to go to the voters of, of, of Rochester but you're not and gonna say, room with you know, uh, so you're not going to go to them with that. You're going to go to them. This is now going to the board. If this goes out to the community tomorrow from them, that's a mistake on their part. Right. They but should either But right. the board right. has to be responsible with how they present it. So I'm just going to say one more time, I feel so strongly about Rochester having to get to one building that I'm, uh, maybe I'm wordsmithing. I don't think it should be listed as an option. I think that's the one recommendation right. this committee can make to the board. We can't exactly. recommend anything else. We can't recommend we close stock rates. I keep don't think we are. But no, but what I'm saying is we can recommend we feel very strongly that Rochester get to one building. And here's the cost to do it if you go to that. Right. 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 That's, that's, right. that's, that's, right. that's not a bad sales pitch to the town of Rochester. You know, all the poor kids are going to be uh, shut up in this 1950s right old school oh, unless you buy into this uh, deal and, and pick up your end of the thing and help out, blah, blah. I mean, to me, so that's... You're not on the PR campaign. Yeah, you're not on the PR campaign. You're not on the PR campaign. We're not doing that. We can do the balance. So, I agree. We've, we've stepped away from, from this. We've approached it in a different manner that I think is much better. Mm -hmm. and I think that's our next step now is to... to to go to the board. It, and is it or do we need to meet again and refine? 
I don't oh think so. I think, I think that we, we show this to the board, and then and we say to the board, do you want us to do anything more with this or not? Right. But I think that the one building thing I is think a good the idea. I think the only thing, whoever from here is presenting it to the board, needs to talk about those other talking points. This is why we did not do this. this is, and, and speak for the committee to say, look, we're not thinking two buildings, but you should find out immediately whether we can even get rid of the other building. Right. Who knows? That that two million dollars might buy you ten years of using both buildings, mm -hmm. but you won't know until they do some research. Because yeah. if you can't get rid of the building, you're right. I there's think a, you can't go. A certain thing. Really we have to make assumptions somewhere, though. I think you this can't is the go. Assumption we made. I think you can't. I think we, as a committee, can't go much further than we've gone. Right. Yeah. It's got to get to the board, and it's got to get to the community. Just want to make sure all one the of the things get to the board. One of the things we might think about mm -hmm. is when this gets out to the communities, they may say, "We don't like any of these. We want you to look at this." I don't know what that might be, but we want you to look at this. Or we're going to get some. My guess is we're going to get some pretty definitive feedback. Either. We've captured what's important to both communities, or we've missed it, or we've captured it for one and not the other. That's what will enable us and the board to move forward. I don't think we can go much further right. than we've gone. I, think well, I don't think it's prudent to. I think it's not. I, I think it's not right now. I think something that's important that needs to be done, and maybe we need to meet again to do it, or somebody can do it, and that is there needs to be a kind of a narrative that goes with this mm -hmm. yes. that says oh, these are the basic yeah. assumptions, there's only one building, yeah, we all this know is what we've gone through, through, and it explains okay. in, in text. In, I agree. In, in, uh, I think that's very so. Maybe your idea of meeting again to talk about the presentation is, or that if someone in here better than me at typing or whatever <laughs> chooses to write that up and we all look at it I via email, I'm okay that. with that as well. I think, but I do think, think it's important. That, I think it's important <laughs> that we send the list. We send the cost of the three. We send what's called the assumptions and clarifications, which is a page that says we assume this. We assume for option we assume two no that we can no get no rid of <coughs> the high school and keep the 19 junkie 53. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. Like that. I also think that we need to you consider <laughs> expenses for these communities. <laughs> How much does the high school cost to maintain to per year in run. the winter or what for the school year as well as the elementary school in Rochester? The, the elementary like school, school might be, yeah. hot air might be going out. So do we have those figures? information that Right. Yeah, I have some of them that I'm working on. That, all, really we have, all we have is the heat right now. That's all. So what else is there? The heat's a big one, isn't it? Well, and that's actually for two buildings, because that was that was the one Tara gave us, right. which was seventy thousand for two again, buildings. The board, if they're doing their due diligence, five. they're going to chase all that stuff. Mm -hmm. right. If they're going to make that, no, but I think it has to be in the presentation. Yeah. Yeah. Operation. The cost. The one, cost. the one piece I didn't know did. what it is. Yeah, the one piece right. I didn't, the one piece I didn't think about in terms of the math. But does one cost on that. more? to keep going than the other after right. you maintain it? Well, I don't know. The one piece I didn't right. think about, Joanne, in terms of that um, 70000 I think we'd have to get the dates of the heating bills. Rochester has a 10,000-gallon tank. It gets fuel for the high school. It gets fuel twice a year. So if that 10,000-gallon tank was filled up, and I don't know that it was, but if it was <laughs> filled up on June 1st, mm -hmm. That's a whole lot of cost in that fiscal year that really spreads out well, over the next compared year. Compared to fiscal year to fiscal year, that's what I. School, that's what I'm sure saying. So I'm not sure what the, the, the yeah. seventy just sounds. It should be able to annualize. Well, I know when we were but I'm just not sure that that's what they did when they gave that seventy. I, I, I just need to check that. Okay. I know when we looked at the merger numbers right way back, and it was sixty-five, and that was through February. So it is a high number. I'm it's not high. saying it's not high. Yes. I'm just saying we have to and look that's at, at 50 how many degrees, degrees. But it's right? not something that this yeah. committee needs to present to no, them. No, I don't think it doesn't need to. But it need, but someone may ask the question: yeah. How much well, is it cost? They can come things. back to us with a list things, of questions, but I think they still need to be they figured out. How they can figure out better than you know. I think because you're talking about not using one or the other of the buildings, that kind of information is really kind of important, even if it was a kind of thumbnail. Your high school cooler it may cost less. We don't know that gym in the elementary. Entry might be like crazy expensive. All right, Take I will get that done shortly as soon as I can. There you go. So, what I'm needs to be on the on the narrative? Bullet points, not word for word. Well, if we were going to try and do all this 
electronically versus meeting. I'm not saying we have to, but I'm trying to get make sure we have this. Yeah, who's going to start this? Who's good? Andy? We can start it. We can start it. We can start it. Okay, that would be great. I'm just, I know myself and my brain is going to shut off in about 25 minutes. I'm not going to hold it. I think we need to wrap up. So without debating, I think we should just list, I think we should just list the points. I'm going to take a crack at starting. One boo boo. Right. For Rochester campus. One building for uh, one building and for one building for Stockbridge campus. One building for Stockbridge campus. So another way of saying that is closing no schools. One of our assumptions is both communities want a school in their community. Boom. Right. Um, okay. I'm okay. That's, That's my good. big one. I'll put that up there. I appreciate. I had uh, our, which brings us to our list and the individual costs of all three. To, and I put as a header for the cost monies it would take to function one building on each campus as elementary schools. And it says SCS cost minimums, uh, Rochester Elementary School only minimums, uh, only minimums to function as an elementary school, Rochester High School only minimums to function as an elementary school, plus the 390000 that it would cost to rework classrooms and offices for program needs to explain how our total is different than... The columns. Yes, we get the two okay. million. They have this report that should tally. Right. <clears throat> okay. W what else? What other talking <laughs> points? Oh, and then the other option on the list is to close all three and offer school choice. Just to throw it out there. Right. Not that anyone wants it, but it There should be a list called Assumptions and Clarifications, a separate okay. page. Assumptions. And what would go on that, Willis? The simple things like that, the, the assumptions we made. We assume that going to one building in Rochester is viable based on getting a, a marketable use of okay, one yeah, of those spaces. Right. Right? If you're going to cut back to one and you're going to, like you said, if you're going to pay for two, if, if not, then a comparison between getting to one building versus the two over right. a period of time should be discussed. And I think the point you made is a good one. We have to be clear with both communities that while we're trying to figure out how to get rid of whichever building we're getting rid of, there are costs to maintain it. Well, whatever assumptions did we make? We made in our costs that they have no, that, that the cost prices we're using are the minimum we think to make them viable areas to educate our children. I think another assumption we made is that once the communities identify for us, do we want to call it their priority choices or whatever, there will be a need to further refine these numbers. However, we, you say that we in should your state that, but uh, the assumptions and clarifications should be: How did we get where we got? We got there because of this. In other words, so we made those assumptions based on bringing the property, one or the <laughs> other, in Rochester, mm -hmm. Stockbridge, to a point where we're properly educating the kids. Mm -hmm. All right. Other assumptions: We assume right now that. Both communities want to keep their schools open, but tuition should be um, Can, looked at. A tuition model should be looked at. May want to be looked right. at, tuitioning out for both communities, even though you everybody seems pretty sure that right. that's right. not a case. Right. But, but okay. you, we assumed right. by not putting it on our list that, that that's it's not, not an option, right. but we did discuss it. <laughs> we did. Okay. And I do have a and question. And I'm sure there's other items that are in there that well, we assume. The I minimum mean. scope, is that like all in one year? or Because it looks what like it. No, I mean, like. You won't do the project. Well, that's that's what a question may. Is this, okay. this going to happen right away? Right. Is this going to happen over no, this five would be, years? this would have to be. Right. It's already too late to do it next year, really. Right, right. But I mean, that may be a question that someone asks. Like, they're they're going to they're gonna have to determine that process. There, right. There's certain protocols they have to do probably there is 30-day wait periods there's appeal periods there's right, right. there's certainly several months to refine to the actual construction project you got to go out to bid you got yeah you, 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 you got you got a number one you got to hire an architect or somebody which is part of some of right, that right that you've got to define exactly what you're doing you're not just going to say here's seventy thousand dollars fix my room i understand i think i understand what joanne's saying though that these are 
potentially one time cost, but will be spread out over a period of That's time. I mean. yeah. 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 So many but if they're health and safety issues, aren't you going to do them right away? Correct, but we don't need but to spend $2 million dollars every year oh, just to oh, keep the high right. school open right. every year. And this is $2 million total for the right. next right. cost. Right. Well, it's the two, no, no, the two no, elementary no, schools no, alone are $500,000. So, like, that's a lot of money to add to the budget. So that's what... But that wouldn't be added. That's done with your bond, though. Right. No, I know, I know, I know. But I just... I want to go back to something Joanne said that maybe should be our first assumption. Our first assumption was that um, the two communities are are very vested, or we can wordsmith are very vested in providing a, a really top-notch education for their youngsters. That's really our first assumption. We went about this thinking, we're not looking to cut and slash. We don't want to just provide the minimum that the state will let us get away with. Nobody talked about that. Right. So maybe our first assumption ought to be that that's what we want. I agree. Right. Well, that, actually, that was a part of the merger cell, was a better education. Right. But that, that is true. Sure. What we're trying to do here is to make it is is to make the best education. Yeah, right. Not, not all just fiscal. Right. right. We're right. not exactly. trying to pull. And we have That's some good right. examples of that. We have joint positions now that are full time positions. Safe to say, we would not have the people that we have in them were they a two day a week position working for one employer and a two and a half day a week mm -hmm. position yeah. working That's for another right. one. Yep. Both communities are vested in offering high quality. Yeah. I mean, I do think on the assumptions, we have we have to let them know that that they need to determine the the short term fixes that are required. They should they should budget appropriate items within this report that need to be done within your normal budget. Right. While this. Project on right. this, this exactly. Yeah, and basically they're the health and safety ones. Those are the ones right. we're going to look at initially, and not the what's the most expensive way we can address the health and safety concern, <laughs> right. but what is the right. Depends on the term. I'm exactly. Exactly. Yeah, trying to turn for this for the narrative, mm -hmm. and that is uh, that both communities recognize the schools as a kind of a vital element in the flourishing of the communities that is not just about educating the children it affects real estate values it uh, mm -hmm. affects all that. The, right. uh, make it larger than just right. 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 it encompasses right. the entire That's very community true. whichever one the law Chester does should be saleable yeah, yeah. should be should a viable the entity of real estate should enhance the town yeah, yeah. And, and even though even though we're going to continue with the with the with the stockbridge school in our plan here they're not looking to go from two buildings to one, but the the quality and the caliber of their school also is going to enhance Stockbridge. I mean, a right, school's community, yeah. a community school, either attracts people or kind of pushes people away, um, because right. you can go to a town that's five miles away and find a school that has more to offer, mm -hmm. higher academic, you know, blah blah blah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. So Lindy will. Yeah, write that up. I would, um, if you guys feel like we need to meet again, we can. I kind of would hesitate to, um, just because we've I already Carl's spent. Carl's gonna it. want to. Carl might want to meet. I say let's write the narrative, send it around, and, and see where we're at. Yep. If you write the narrative and the basic numbers and give them to Carl and say you want us to do any more work or not, there you go. Then. Yeah, part of the okay. Um, so the next um, Rochester School Board meeting is uh, the first Tuesday in uh, January. January. That I believe is January seventh. Yeah. Um, does that seem reasonable for everybody? To we could finish this if we see that that's not going to work because we need to meet again and the holidays. You know, we'll make it work. But the faster we keep this moving, because I think she gets the time. Take your time. Yeah. No, do what you want. Tomorrow, I'm at a really exciting safety training. I'd like to see okay. that on my desk in the morning. <laughs> I'm well, what you like it. and what you yeah. get. Yeah. Two <laughs> different things, <laughs> Willis. I got 40 years or 50 years of proven. Yeah. January 7th. January 7th. Here in Stockbridge. And, uh, oh, yeah, don't the camera. The next one is Yep, the so next um, regular scheduled Rochester no. Stockbridge Unified School District School Board <coughs> meeting is in Stockbridge yeah. the sev uh, January, January 7th at 6 30. Yeah. Yeah. Entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. All in favor? Uh, yeah. Eight. Eight. Mm -hmm. All right, adjourn. We all worked on us. Four, on Congratulations, Amy, on your trying yeah. to keep this rowdy group together. Yeah. Thank you, guys.